Welcome to the stream, everybody who's here on Twitch and everyone watching later on YouTube. I'm PCJ Law, and in today's game, we're playing Deity Difficulty on Pangea Map, small map size, Deity Difficulty, and quick game pace with strategic balance resources. Today, Civ, we did a random roll. We got the Shoshone, and the Shoshone are actually quite interesting. First and foremost, they have their special ability, which is kind of annoying to play against, but cool if you are the Shoshone, which is that founded cities start with additional territory. Units receive a combat bonus when fighting within their own territory. So one of these is quite strong for Deity Difficulty. The other one is pretty inconsequential, on Deity at least. So first and foremost, City starting with additional territory is really, really cool. Oh, Captain Mathmo just subscribed with Prime. Captain Mathmo, thank you very much for the subscription. It's very generous of you. Thank you very much indeed. Anyway, after that... Great start to the great start to the stream. So the the thing that's really strong is the founded city starting with additional territory, and that's because at the start of well, re really, to, uh, your city start with the six tiles around the city tile and the shoshone gets a bunch of extra tiles straight away and that's really powerful because when you're playing liberty one of the key reasons not only just to get your culture rolling which is super important but one of the key reasons why you'll build a monument first is because a city what's the word the city that gains culture or that makes culture by having culture coming out of the city tile or something that accumulates and gives you border expansion and that is how you expand your borders without buying it through gold it's by accumulating enough culture within a city by gaining the culture in that city either by having it you know produced through a building or something like that to gain an extra tile and Shoshone gets a whole bunch of extra tiles straight away without you having to one get your monument down or two spend any gold on it which is super super powerful it's surprisingly good because it really reduces the amount of gold you have to spend buying tiles even as tradition let alone liberty so it's a fantastic thing super good bonuses regardless of whether or not you're traditional liberty but it's really easy to see how it would be super strong as liberty not only that of course but if you settle a contested city spot you may not even have to purchase all of the good tiles. You might just get them as the Shoshone. So really powerful, but you can now see how it's so annoying to play against. <laughs> Black Vegetable says kind of annoying is to put it mildly, because if the AI forward settles you and nicks all of your tiles, or a human player does the same thing, it can be super annoying. And the combat bonus when fighting in their own territory is actually it's super strong. It's impactful. Problem is on deity difficulty, things are usually going quite badly for you if you're being attacked by the deity AI. You want to be on the offensive almost exclusively. On, I mean, on Civ, you want to be on the offensive during wars almost exclusively, but it's kind of worse when you're facing an AI carpet of doom versus perhaps trying to repel a human invasion that you're prepared for with a combat bonus inside your own territory. But on top of that, they got a couple of interesting unit units, the first of which is the Pathfinder. It's a scout improvement. I believe it's got more combat strength, so it actually functions a bit more as a unit. But... In fact, yeah, 15% bonus in your territory. Mate. But the key bonus to the Pathfinder as a scout is that it gets this ability, Native Tongue, may choose a benefit when discovering ruins. And that means you actually get to choose what you get from a ruin. Now, a couple of... I think the, the tech ability should disappear once you get out of the Ancient Era. And the Faith choice ability should only come up once you progress so many turns into the game. I forget how many it is now. And you can only choose the same bonus once every three ruins so bonus and then two ruins that you can't choose that bonus before then being able to choose the bonus again and that's really powerful because there's a lot of kind of kind of wasteful ruins that you can get in the scouting and barbarian camp ruins are pretty worthless the best ones to get are culture especially when your tradition or perhaps population you might even want tech or maybe gold something like that but there are some that are much more beneficial than others so what you want is the Shoni, and you can use it to pick basically pop or culture, which is the most overpowered thing. And then you can choose what you want. And one perhaps sometimes unknown feature of the Pathfinder is when you take the upgrade rune, you get a composite bowman as opposed to an archer, which is really cool. We're just going to take a quick look around our spawn location, but there's nothing that's going to convince us to move. We're on the coast. We're within range of two granary resources, one within our first ring. We actually have a fish. We've got a long river, a two lux capital, and our regional luxury appears to be ivory, which while is annoying that it's on trapping, is actually quite useful because at least you get to do a circus. That means that your happiness problems are going to be lesser if you can settle each of your cities for your regional luxury. So that's a hidden bonus of having ivory as a regional that you get circuses in several of your cities that you otherwise would not do. No reason not to settle. We can find in place. We'll 
Raptor Crasher says, I think it's an extra eight tiles. We're about to count them and find out. So, how many did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got eight tiles. Okay, well, we got eight tiles. That's interesting. And we go straight into a Pathfinder and we'll work our city tile. We can start with pottery because we do actually have both granary resources in our capital already. Sadly, we don't have a hill as a production tile for our for us to grow to for, with a production focus trick. But this will have to do. Now, British Arts not moving to a hill. No, I thought about moving up onto the hill. But one, if we go up onto the hill, we actually... The production's equal, at least to start anyway, because we have to work this 1-1 one, one food tile over a 2-1 wheat tile. So we actually start with equal production in the first five turns. Or actually, no, we wouldn't have done because we got this wheat. So that's actually a bit of a moot point. One, I wanted to chop the forest on the hill, but two, I, should, I wanted to stay on the river for a garden. And there is our first ruin, so we'll head towards it. We should probably pick this to be culture, because we're a little bit close to growing a population. And that's going to take us right into tradition already. There's no reason to choose liberty here, so we might as well go for tradition. As much as I would have liked to have chosen liberty, it's, we see three luxes so far, so there's nothing to tell us to do liberty. And generally speaking, on the base Brave New World maps, liberty is so uncommon as a choice. We might not be able to settle this marble, and that's going to be quite awkward. Liberty is so uncommon as a choice. And even when you could have chosen it, freedom is often of similar strength. You might as well, when you're in a position like this where you have to guess, you might as well just use tradition. But Black Vegetable says the Pathfinder has the strength of a warrior, so it combines well with chariots, especially if you take survivalism. That's interesting. Well, maybe that's another plus one towards doing chariots. So we got our growth. We found a ruin here. So we should send this Pathfinder up here to go get the ruin. I'm hoping that we'll be able to claim a couple... And I want to go for another Pathfinder now. We don't need a monument anymore because we've just taken tradition with our culture. So that's accelerating our culture well on its way. Wow, we're not going to get any more ruins actually. This Denmark warrior is going to be a pain. And we can take population because we just grew a little, bit, a little while ago. That's going to help us to grow. We might as well work a two food tile. And we can take the next policy in tradition actually quite helpful that we got that early culture to accelerate our start just because we are coastal it's a more ivory up the river so we want to set at least one inland city and i want to take a peek down here before we get out of here that might cost us a ruin but with denmark's warrior already there the likelihood of us getting another ruin is sadly low so it has to be the only game that gets less interesting as it goes on says arnold the early game is always so enjoyable i guess that's kind of true I mean, multiplayer has a lot. Wow. Are you serious? Okay. Multiplayer does have quite a lot of... I don't know if we need these 12 turns before doing Settlers. We should probably grow in six and then carry on. Really or us? <laughs> okay. We need a worker. We need to remember to steal one. Looks like this extra Pathfinder is not really going to prove very useful. I wonder if we can get out of here with this worker... We'll have to take a couple of shots. So I don't think that we can. Let's have a look. We need to be a bit more careful because we could have gotten wrecked there. And we can take it. Should we take a shrine? I'd like a worker. Especially if we're doing war. A shrine though is hard to miss. What would we get with a shrine? Let's go this way to try and steal a worker anyway. Shoney and small Pangea deity level is quite tricky because you get so few ruins. Says the black vegetable. Yeah, it's very true. We have indeed. We haven't been able to get our comp bow. We'll try and hunt around for one of these Danish workers though. When it comes out for the horse, I think that's the ideal time to grab it. The horse isn't improved yet. We could perhaps take this one here though. Because the archer's not going to be able to shoot us once we move away. Oh, now we're being attacked up here, so we need to back up. And then here's a Barbarian Archer, so we can get out of here now with this work. And we'll just rename it Denmark, so we know that's who it came from. Oh, that stood on our... Oh, I'm glad we actually worked this two food tile on the fish now. I knew there was a reason to do that. We need to back up and away. Oh, Mount Sinai. Well, we're not going to be able to settle that, so it's a bit of a moot point thinking about it. We can go for bronze working while we're here, but we need to pivot up towards trapping relatively soon. Anyway, Black Vegetable says, Shishon, yeah, a small Pangea, I know. Yeah, he's really close, as Arnold. He's got to be killed indeed. I would quite like to chariot him. This is difficult chariot terrain, but we're going to have to try it, I guess. 
Maybe we should actually go for the wheel. We'll need iron so that we have production. And then we'll come back for it, maybe. But anyway, AG, AGS96 joins the stream today. Welcome. Says, finally caught your stream rather than watching five-hour YouTube videos. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the stream, AGS. Glad you could catch the stream. We're going to have to get out of here from Denmark. And see if we can be a bit more opportunistic about another worker. Especially if we find that we can piece him, which we can't yet. But once we know that we can, we can maybe take a look out for one. And once we grow, we can just stagnate at pot four. We finish the shrine. I would quite like a worker before we go anywhere. A granary would have been good, but because we got the pop room, we don't need it. There's the worker. Can we piece him? Sadly not. We might die here. We could take a city shot and a warrior shot. We're actually going to get this worker captured. <laughs> unless we wait right there. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll come over. Austin Carney grew. So now we want to work all of our horses. That's stagnation. We'll get the worker before building a settler, I guess. We actually didn't die. That's perfect. We should be able to get out of here too. So we can kill this and then we can run away with all of this like that. And that gets us out of there. We can take legalism for free monuments. This has been quite a nice start so far. But we are a bit shy on units. We do now have two Denmark workers though. <laughs> See if we can piece him again. Not yet. I hope he doesn't come and war us now. That would be bad. So we can come down here. We should probably just take... I would quite like to take survivalism. On the Pathfinder. But I'm not entirely sure it's a great idea. Because we could do with these units staying in the action right now. There's no reason to stay at war with Denmark quite yet. Maybe bank one food before a barb stands on a wheat tile. That's true actually. I should have done that. You're very correct. Should have banked a food before the barb stood on a wheat tile. Let's do that now while we're here. And we've revealed our iron up here, which is perfect. How do we kill this? We can maybe just step on it and we need to get... Yeah, because we need to get this worker out. We can do this. And then maybe chop a forest. I mean, we could construct a pasture here, but... That seems a bit far away and likely to get hit by barbarians. But we'll come in. See if Denmark will peace yet. He won't. I mean, if he wants to suicide units into us, that's fine. We almost shouldn't have finished this worker. I'm almost. I'm wondering if this is like... This is probably two city chariot archers. It would have been nice to get another coastal city. If we do, it might have to go on the marble. It's a pretty bad city. Our borders have expanded now. We've got all of these workers... And we're going to have to be really careful about Danish units if we come out here. But I think we're okay. We can just improve some tiles. I guess we've got one food left now. So we can go back to doing this. And build some settlers. Although we don't have to worry about starving now with settler production. We might even be able to get more out of it by just doing this, can we? That's 12 production versus how much was this again? Yeah, this was 10, so wow, okay. Well, we've got this at least. That's quite nice yields. Two iron, two horses. Marble is a terrible city, says Arnold. Yeah, I know. But it can borrow some tiles off the capital. It still gets this wheat. It gets the bison. It gets the horses. Capital's got... Capital's perfectly fine, so it's kind of more for another cargo ship city. But yeah, Denmark is an AI that occasionally does not accept peace. If you're planning on chariots, you might as well settle Sinai. Lol, yeah. I mean, we won't be able to get round for Sinai, is the thing. So trapping into the wheel, probably. At least we got this early population. That's quite good. We can try and chop these forests down. We actually need to garrison a unit inside the city. We'll take this Pathfinder in. Save some gold. There's our early forest chops for the settler. We need to deal with this down here. There's the Denmark warrior. Mark hasn't accepted peace, but we can come down here. That's fine. As much as I would like to settle Sinai, I'm, it doesn't seem particularly viable. I would settle the carbon couple, not the marble, says Raptor Crasher. Yeah, I think so as well. This might be like a later city if we want it. We can settle right up here. Maybe even... We could even go... I mean, right here seems fine, actually, on the river. So we'll do that, I think. Denmark's warrior left again. I don't really want to go three city chariots. If we're going to do chariots, we should probably do only two cities. But 
but we don't actually have the ability to make any chariot archers yet. But we can perhaps put, produce some spearmen. A barracks could be interesting, or a granary rather. A granary seems like a better choice. Take food focus actually as well. Let's improve this and we can put a mine on this iron here. And this wants to come this way. You have to be really careful. But yeah, copper sets are good. Shoshone border might grab the gem. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it does grab the gems, which would be really nice. And we can just trot over here like that. Come back here, get a camp on our ivory. Just wait on our worker. We don't really want to move from this tile, so we'll wait on it with a pathfinder. We can just go this way. We might as well settle on the river. We've improved this iron. We should try and work it, but I don't think we can. We actually can't. That's unfortunate. We will be able to... Oh, hello, England. We will be able to once we improve this wheat. It kind of sucks to have a coastal capital and no coastal expansions, but... It'll do. We should improve this ivory just in time. Next turn, I guess. Work production and gold for a moment with the granary. We'll try and bring a worker over. Can't really go this way yet, not without giving up our iron tile. But maybe we'll cross the river for this. Move this out here. It should hopefully zone off some... Units. So we need to improve this ivory before we go anywhere. It means we need to come back here. And there's Samarkand. We should steal a city-state worker eventually. Can we... I mean, there's no point in piecing Denmark now, but we need to be friendly with England. We're not going to use any of this iron, so let's keep our gold per turn up. And we need to improve some more horses. But yeah, I mean, Black Vegetable says you could even tempt Denmark to steal his worker back and kill his warrior. That's true. It might be worth doing something like that. Archers now. We don't really need anything else. We could have built a barracks, but it doesn't feel useful. We can work this iron now, but we kind of don't need to. Right, and so we need to take this away. We need to probably protect our ivory tile. This worker is very exposed. We can take food because we might as well grow in the cap. Maybe this gives us the opportunity to work more iron, actually. And just build a couple of archers. We do need these units. Put a camp down on our furs. Noxon says, take a sip of your beverage and welcome to the stream, Noxon. Thanks for keeping me hydrated. Anyway, Baba Luther King joins the stream today. Says, hey, PC, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks, Baba. How are you? Welcome, everyone who's just joined. So Denmark's warriors run off. We can kill that. And then we can take this away. We want to improve the copper. We're actually happy. So we'll work this iron. And then we'll grab one more archer. A caravan would have been nice. And we could do with dealing with these barb camps down here before we go anywhere. Barbs are always a factor in classical wars. So let's not make them a factor in pillaging our backsides. Survivalism. And what should we improve first? It would be nice to improve the iron up here. And we, we do have the room for happiness. We can't trade ivory with England yet. Would you be interested? We can, but they don't have anything we need. Okay, let's deal with these barbs then. We just finished the wheel so we can start on chariot archers. There are only three turns, which is perfect. We now need to improve these remaining horses. We've border grown to some more ivory. Let's improve this iron. We can sell it to England, I guess, if we need to. And what do we need? We don't need anything else to improve luxury resources right now, which is pretty cool. We can maybe tech for... Is it composite bowman next, or do we just tech for techs? Probably writing. And we can grow. So what, what should we work here? Probably this horse, because we're standing on it as a garrison. And now we need to deal with these barbs. Priring down here as well, that could be annoying. 
Austin Carney grew. Oh, we grew food focus. So that's a bit of a pain. A fish is going to be out of action for a little while. Want to come over here, maybe. We maybe don't need the Pathfinder support for those barbs, but we can carry on. I think you can use your Pathfinders more aggressively. With Survivalism 2, they can become quite tanky, says the Black Vegetable. That's interesting. I mean, I am kind of tempted. This is a bit of a problem right now if we get double attacks. We should have a Chariot Archer back. No, they actually, he actually ran away anyway. Which is good news. So we can get this Chariot out, and we can take our Pantheon. Sadly, there doesn't, doesn't really seem to be a good faith pantheon. Food from camps could be pretty valuable in the early game. Is there anything that benefits war? Fishing boats, God King, Pascal Wonders, one with nature, on silver, jungle tiles, happiness from cities on rivers. We've got two of those, actually. That would be two happiness in the early game. I wonder if it's better just to take happiness from cities on rivers right now. We will lose it. But given that food from camps appears to be gone, Banana, citrus, and wheat food would be good. But this will help us stay happy. It'll be like a couple of happiness. Let's try it. I haven't, I've never taken this, so why not? We'll take it now. We've grown here. We want to work this horse tile. And England now has a trade. Crab for ivory. Perfect. And will Denmark peace now by any chance? No. What's their army like? They're not biggest army, so we're quite close in terms of army score to Denmark. And then heal this Pathfinder. We want to go improve this. We should probably improve some more secure horses. Chariot Archer in two turns is pretty good. We should be able to take out this Barb Camp now. Not quite yet, apparently. Not even if we high roll. We've got a promotion to take on one of these archers. That's fine. We'll take... Maybe we'll take Rough Terrain in case we have to fight through some nonsense in Denmark's capital. And then we'll cut down this now. While we're here into Moak. Come back for calendar. But yeah, it's a super early oracle, says Black Vegetable. I know, actually. I was reflecting on that when it came down and forgot to really talk about it. But that was really, really early. That was good, too. That's nice. But yeah, another Pathfinder for scouting could be quite handy. Yeah, we've only got three right now. We need to handle the units better. Once we get some military out, we'll be good to go. So we'll take Barrage just in case we need it. And we might as well shoot with this archer and then clear the camp. Good, that's that camp dealt with. We might even have to leave this Pathfinder there. We want to take this wheat in this city now. Wait, how long until the granary is done? Two turns, that's more similar amount of food, really. Actually, if it's more food like this, we save a turn and get plus two back. So yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, more chariots. I want to see what's here. There's a few units around. So we're going to need these archers back for sure. Perhaps should have taken for composite bowmen. I'm not sure. Let's bring some units around though. We start need needing to get more tiles for the capital. And we couldn't grow last turn thankfully. Even though I should have done the production focus trick. Didn't. But we can grow this turn. Try and get rid of this trireme down here. And just stand with the pathfinder. Make sure we don't get any barb problems. Okay, so we got this archer out. One, two, three, four. So we can do a bit of damage to that. This cat might be tough. Yeah, indeed. I'm not sure. Barb worker. Oh, yeah, there is a barb worker. Wow. I'm not entirely sure we can deal with it, but let's see if we can. Now the city state took it back. Unfortunate. I don't know. Denmark's got a settler coming. That could be pretty brutal. For them, at least. Not for us. We're doing good. Probably want to work this now for the moment. It's only 10. Improve this. Okay, tomorrow has got the granary now, so we want to work this tile. And Tomoak. It can maybe produce us one chariot before it gets on to something else. Because we do need some units. We'll get these archers across so that we can start attacking Orhus. How many cities does Denmark have? Three right now. I'm not sure there's a lot I can do about this settle. We might be able to take the Sinai city anyway. To be honest, I'm just kind of glad that he's moving his units out of the way. Maybe Denmark will settle Sinai for you and probably muck it up. Yeah, I'm expecting 
We need to get a bit of vision in here so we know what's here and what's not. I don't know if moving in makes sense right now. Because we'll take quite a lot of damage. We should maybe wait one turn before the archers arrive. But let's just try everything forwards. Ah, here we go. So we got the opportunity to shoot something. That can't even attack us back because it's got across a river. Let's bring this chariot up there. Sailing before going up to probably National College. We actually need a food tile in Mosinkani, so we'll stay and improve that. We're not short on horses. Actually, we kind of are. We would like some more horses. We'll get some more. Uh, Elizabeth wants more iron, which is perfect. Keep our gold per turn going. We're at minus three and we're already selling like six to Elizabeth. There's a caravan there. I would love to take that. This archer can go up on the hill. That feels like a good idea. Let's just check to make sure this is fine to go into, which it is. So archer on the hill. And then we can back this up and pull another archer in here. That can come in here. And then we got these. So we don't screw this one up. Kind of do want some more horses. Or we'll just queue another chariot after this one. Okay, there's Cal... Wow, Calpang. We're going to have to get rid of that one later. And we can just shoot Orhus for a moment. Looks like it's going to die rather fast. We could have done with another Pathfinder as a capture unit. This one might survive though. Not going to die next turn, I don't think. Don't really want to lose this chariot, though, so we'll draw it back. To Mark Grew, this is fine. And I suppose we can work the horse. And wait the Pathfinder one turn. Oh, you move the Pathfinder in so it doesn't shoot the archers. That could be interesting, yeah. We could do that. I mean, the Pathfinder won't die. Let's try it. He's actually got a great writer. Seems kind of interesting. Okay. So this Pathfinder's got an instant heal. We'll have to remember that. We can't really use it, but we can do survivalism, maybe. And this archer can take rough terrain promotion. He's just finished a walls this turn, which is kind of unfortunate. One, two, three. So we can go right here and shoot like that. Pathfinder, I guess, can take survivalism. And we can pillage and then fortify. And then this chariot needs to heal. This archer kind of needs to heal. Move this other Pathfinder over a bit. Draw the Archer back now. And we can move up to... Probably Philosophy. We never did get the City State Worker Steel, but that's okay. Seems to be doing alright. We, I feel like we just need to... Oh, we really need to get across the river here. This Chariot's got a promotion. We want to keep shooting with it. We might have to be willing to lose some archers. Seems okay. It seems fine. We might have to sacrifice some stuff so that we can. As the black vegetable says, keep shooting. It feels like it is getting towards that time. The archer is a bit the archer's a bit beat up right now. Maybe. I mean we might as well just shoot the city. It's going to go down in a minute. Oh, well, I have to build a cargo ship because we apparently can't get any more chariots left anymore. It might be worth getting a one-turn archer, is it? Or can we just finish this horse this turn? We can't. It's one turn an archer. And then we can go on to a chariot again. All right, what do we have here? Can we take Orhus this turn? I mean, we'll, we'll get it flipped back if we take it right now, because there's quite a lot of melee units going around. It's almost perhaps worth just killing some. Do that, maybe. And now some of these melee units are gone. Not really any sense to lose this chariot. But we can just make sure that warrior is dead and buried. It looks like we've got more support coming, which is perfect. Yeah, flipping it would get rid of the walls. That's very true. There we go. We've got the instant heal on this chariot. That's what we were looking for. 
Now what do we do? We don't need to flip the city anymore. And we can take a city with plenty of population. Which is quite nice. I guess we can't take it this turn. Which means we're taking it next turn. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Maybe we should... I mean, this has to wait. We lost the Pathfinder. Means we should probably get one more. But in tomorrow, we don't really need a lot anymore. Just a caravan. And it's grown. We do want to work that now, though. We don't really have any more food tiles for it yet. I'm looking for luxury resources right now, but we might have gone a bit too hard at the luxuries. Not entirely sure. Work more food. Got general. That's cool. So the Pathfinder took a little bit of damage. It's okay. Oh, what's this? One, two, three. Okay, so we can go here. That's fine. What else can we do? What's that over there? We need to trap this Spearman in. We can perhaps take out the... What's this? I mean, we can't cross there. I mean, it's probably a couple more shots on the city, isn't it? We can take it now. And we might as well keep it, so let's create a puppet. And then we can move a lot of our stuff over. We do. We will need to raise Kalpang, but that's got to be left as the last city. We don't want it to be the next one. Mossen Carney actually does still need to build chariot archers. It might almost be worth us buying one more as well. Which I'm not entirely sure about yet. But we got this spearman. Hopefully it's trapped in. I don't think it is actually. It looks like it can escape. Oh, we need... I'll tell you what we need is pathfinders. Let's grab a pathfinder over here first. I guess ahead of the caravan. Oh, Nubber says, can you show me the tech tree real quick? Yes, here we go. So we've got most of the ancient era text, and we're just working towards philosophy, but that was a bit too much. Black Vegetable says, raise Kalpang ASAP and start spamming warriors. Yeah, maybe. Arnold says, save the gold. I would like to save the gold, but what I want to do is make sure we kill Denmark. That's like the plan. And we can't really do that if we heal this. Because what I, what I, the problem I want to avoid is where, and we'll inevitably do this, we'll show up and he'll have a ton of comp bows around his capital. So I want to avoid that right now by going and taking his capital out. It just seems the easiest to take out Kalpang later. As opposed to letting him regroup in his cap. I'm fi I have a feeling the capital... Is the capital star here? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> it's a pretty bad way to find out. But it is the way we've chosen to do it. And now we just need to improve some more farms. Grab some more chariots. We do definitely need another pathfinder. Looks like the city of Copenhagen is right there. But it's pretty painful to get into actually. Might be. We might just have to lose this chariot to break in. It's kind of unfortunate. Because the terrain is pretty bad. Um, yeah, actually, it might, um, it might be, actually, that the city's flatland. I'm not sure that we can't see it. It's a good suggestion, though, Black Vegetable. I didn't actually think of it, but you might well be right. But yeah, the terrain is pretty bad right now. Let's go here. There's the city. He wants a peace treaty. Let's refuse that and see what we can do. We should have brought a worker with us. Probably what we should have done.
But let's see if we can break into this capital. We are still building units. And I, I feel like we need to make some more chariot archers. And I really do feel like we need to buy one at this point. I wonder if we should just bring this worker over. I mean, it's a bit late to cut stuff down. But chopping this forested furs would have been quite valuable. Yeah, 27 is too strong. Better to raise Kalpang, set up Sinai and come back in a later era. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that then, I guess. I will turn around. Oh, yeah, 27 combat strength. I did not even notice. Yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> and we don't actually have that many tiles to shoot from either. Yeah, it's not a lot of damage, is it? And we could do a better job maybe of doing taking all this stuff. But hey, look, we got another worker. So we can back up towards Kalpang to get rid of that thing. I would agree. I think 27 is too strong. We can just lose this archer. It makes sense to just lose it. So that we can get out of here. We can probably push for optics before we do anything. Back onto the caravan here. That's fine. Here We don't actually want to finish this chariot anymore. We actually probably don't even want the cargo ship. We want to do caravans. I wonder if it is worth keeping Kalpang. Let's have a look. I mean, it's settled too close to us. We want to settle it closer to Sinai. So that can be a post-national college city for us. Yeah, let's leave the arch here to die. There's our Pathfinder. We can bring that down to cap the city. Dan Danish Settler, that's another worker. There's another worker in that camp as well. We should probably just go send some of these units to go get that. While these ones come south. I feel like we've slowed Denmark up quite a bit now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do not shoot the worker. We want to capture or the, the settler. We want to capture the settler. There we go. It's another worker. Wait here one more turn with the chariot. Going to grow here. Let's do something like this for now. Just wait one turn on the chariot. This is going to grind to mark. We're ready for that. Keep bringing this down. Well, we captured the Danish city already, which is quite good. Let's move up on the archer. Moss and yeah, so both our cities grew. That's fine. We want to work the food now over the gold. Although our gold per turn is a bit bad. And by a bit, I mean very. Because we need to fix this. I beg your oh, she doesn't want to do it anymore. It's probably because we did some conquest, is it? Yeah, it is because we did some conquest. Go ahead. Well, we can't really do a lot anymore. Let's at least get an embassy with England. We can chop some forest, some stuff down for Aarhus. We can probably... It's already got a library and the statue. We captured the statue of Zeus. That, that's why we did so much... It looked like we were going to do so much damage on Copenhagen. Wow. Okay. Well, we've got a world wonder already. Nice. There's a sheep. Then we didn't capture Petra or something. <laughs> Could have been good. Let's keep this. And we've got a general too, which is perfect. We need to get a worker out to Orhus, so we'll do that. These caravans are done. Uh oh, Elizabeth's not really interested in much with us right now. We don't even need to send the caravan to Aarhus. We can actually just send them from Tamarak and Mosinkani to our capital. Let's send this to Aarhus and then Tamarak to Mosinkani. We can go for a library so that we can get started on National College. And in here, we can go for a library as well. Make sure we don't finish that chariot archer. It'd be quite bad. Kalpang's even powerful. I mean, we don't even really want to keep this chariot archer. So, in the idea of trying to keep our army small, why don't we just sacrifice it? A couple of units for defense wouldn't be bad. And we do still need to scout and explore the world. But I want to make sure that we don't noob this, and we'll send one chariot to explore the world, probably. Granary is nearly done. We can kill Kalpang. Try to lure the combo with the worker. Oh, yeah, maybe. We could have done that. Thanks for the suggestion, Veg. We should have tried that, but we did not. It's my bad. Another farm. We definitely need farms around here. We've got a stacked unit with this. Oh, really? Okay. We can chop forests down for our house as well. 
Actually, I don't think we need to chop any forests down yet because we've got all of our good buildings. We'll save the forest chops to put into actual buildings we desire. And we started Golden Age. Is Kaopan going to die this turn? No, we need one more. It's totally fine. We border expanded to this marble that's down here as well. So we've got a really nice start going on. Prove some horses. And we can get a camp. I mean, Cal Orhas is so nice, we might as well just annex it. Because it's three unhappiness and we've already got eight. It's a perfectly fine city. It's building a temple. Let's get a monument. We can maybe work something like this, which is really cool. Finished optics. So we can go for masonry to get that marble improved. Arnold says, could we get the cap with combo since we have Statue of Zeus? Maybe Cobra says murderer. <laughs> yeah, we've already done some chariots on deity difficulty. It's kind of funny. But yeah, Arnold says he's been crippled at least. Yeah, exactly. Elnizo says, just get the other city with the peace treaty. That's true. We could do that. He'll die. He won't accept it, actually. Oh, well. There's not really any need. And we can send food to Moss and Carney. Throw the cat. We'll just kill it next turn. We, we want it smaller anyway because we want to raise this thing and resettle for Sinai. So we can go into... Our National College requires what? Oh, Tamoak hasn't finished its library yet. It's three turns still. Probably a circus because we need to stay happy. But welcome to the stream today, Cobra. Or Cobaddy. However you like to be defined. Hey, this. So we can raise this thing. And then let's go explore. We almost want to settle this a canal for Sinai. Because then we could connect to Copenhagen with cargo ships. Oh, this is on gold focus. Change that. Okay. Well, if we empty this camp, the spearmen will get back in. So let's do that. And then we can maybe take for combo so that we can upgrade some army. Oh, we can't even sell any buildings in here, so that's fine. Okay. Got a lot to do. We've actually border expanded down here, so I'm pretty sure we don't need to have vision on any of these tiles anymore. And get this back, the Pathfinder. Okay. Anyway, Nubberish says, do you ever use a max promotion unit, says Nubberish, with double attacks and stuff? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I would like to try and train one this time around. I'm honestly tempted to stay at war with Denmark and try and train some units on them. Black Vegetable says, it would be good to slow Denmark down. He gets berserkers so early and inevitably he would want to attack you with them. It's true, actually. This turned out to be a great choice because Denmark would have just attacked us. There's no one else he could have done. We can use the General to get Sinai. Oh, that's true. Or maybe the Shoshone... Yeah, the Shoshone borders could get to it eventually. If I mean, if we settle up on this hill for the canal, we'll, the Shoshone borders will get to Sinai, I think. It would seem a reasonable likelihood. Samarkand actually wanted truffles. It's a shame they weren't improved over there. But we've got more tiles for Moss and Carney, so we can keep growing. Gold is pretty bad. We, I guess we can upgrade a couple of archers to composite bowmen, although I'm not entirely sure I like that. And we can go explore the world with this Pathfinder. I don't really know what to do with the chariots. So I have a feeling we should delete them and or just gift them to whoever city-state this worker is, although it might just be Denmark's. We've got so many workers that it's unreal. We almost should just sit here and try and train on Denmark's units as they try and come out towards us. But maybe we can drop a unit in each of these cities somehow. But number of cities, he can't work it if he gets it with a general. Yeah, we need the city. But yeah, just send chariots to war, yeah. I mean, if he settles the canal city and the borders don't get it, yeah, I can use the general if I'm kind of stuck for gold and stuff. I'm half tempted, we'll see. All I know is I want Copenhagen, and I don't know how we're going to get it yet. Yes, high roll, good. Well, apparently we need three units to come deal with this barbarian camp. Is this still finishing next turn on the library? It is. There's a massive negative gold turn though now. Quite massive. We should perhaps just be working gold during our golden age like this. And I don't want to finish this chariot archer either. We can drop a turn into 
Oh, the great lighthouse is still here. Maybe try for it. Okay, so there's some Danish units. I want to try and... We can try and train on them if possible. We maybe need a road to fix our gold paternity issues. Oh, this is nice. It's about to grow. Probably need to heal this Pathfinder first before... We oh, look, another Danish worker. Oh, dear. But Arnold asks, is it worth planting a city for the citrus up here? Maybe if we ever capture Copenhagen. I'm not sure it's worth it now. But yeah, Black Vegetable says you could frigate Copenhagen and then sail on to London. That's true, actually. We could do that. I'm wondering on what we do first. Like, do we cross... But Oh, <laughs> probably want to piece him. <laughs> it seems pretty threatening, the army that's just rocked up on our, on, on our doorstep. I mean, we should be able to defend it with what we've got around here. If we just back up. It's only a problem because we don't have our army in position. Austin Carney and Orhas grew. Nice. It's building a temple now. I'm pretty sure we want the Colosseum. And we should probably try for... I mean, we can try for the... Try for the National College and then we can go for the Great Lighthouse. And then get circuses. Denmark's being a little pushy. Okay. We've got so many workers, it's unreal. All these workers we've stolen off of Denmark. Guess we can escort this back. We do need to get Sinai settled. Maybe that's what one of these cities needs to build is a settler. But we're in for combos. We can push up towards engineering. I'm not sure I fancy going all the way to London with frigates because that does mean taking on the ships of the line. Denmark no, wants a peace treaty. We can still say no while we've got the ability to... Oh, there goes the Great Lighthouse. Well, it's a bit of gold at least. We never would have got it if we'd actually tried to get it. So no loss there, I guess. This pike might try to attack a chariot. Not to worry. Just kill some of these. Crab and Ivory with Elizabeth ended. Oh, we might struggle to get the steel back, and we did. Of course not. You cannot be serious. Yeah, we actually did struggle to get the steel back. We're, apparently, we can do it if we trade away the world. Are we going to get duplicate gems? We won't. She doesn't like us for our warmongering. Which is probably totally reasonable. But that's why we're building happiness buildings right now. Where is this gems that we got? Oh, it's up here, of course. Oh, Big Boy says, Hi, I came a bit earlier to the stream. Well, welcome to the stream, Big Boy. We need to meet other AIs that don't recognize our war with Denmark. Bring this worker back and maybe march on with the chariot. Okay, he's moving units around. That's going to let us get a little bit more damage done. Perfect. I guess we can take this worker now. It's another worker for us. Perhaps it was Denmark's again. Just kill some stuff. See what else we can do. There's some more gems around there. We do need to meet another AI. One that doesn't hate us because of our war. Mark's about to grow. That's pretty much the last of our happiness. Moss and Connie's next pop point is going to be free. Let's just finish this road, see if we can get some gold out. We need to back this up now and take home our next worker because we've got a ton. To Mark's growth, we do need to work a bit of gold. Gold and production like this actually is quite good. We can just keep training on these AI units. We kind of want to be... I would like to be up here, but... It's a bit of a problem. We we do we could probably just do with chopping down some forests or something. Or some jungle. Find find the best way to chop down some jungle. The Maya, hello. They don't have anything to trade us yet, sadly. But we can't trade them any stuff either. They have no ideas about our warmongering. 
This is good news. And they don't have open borders because no one's got civil service, so we'll try and go around the other way. Copenhagen, clearly better to attack from that direction. Hmm. Well, how's our National College going? Three turns, so we're going to have our National College completed in good time, actually. Really nice little three-city National College timing, quite a lot of infrastructure. Some decent cities. This is, I guess, going to be a straight-line road to the cap. Oh, our Golden Age ended. All the happiness is pretty bad now. The Hanging Gardens are still available. We've also converted to a mosque's religion and desert faith. We could actually do a desert faith in the capital. Oh, because it's Denmark's religion. Okay. There's that road, at least. Maybe try and chop some stuff down. This is a plains deer, so we can happily chop that down. Oh, we don't really want to grow here. Not that we can, even if we wanted to. Got a chariot with a promotion. There's Copenhagen. So we can see it a lot better from this side. Maybe the Statue of Zeus would have let us take Copenhagen. I didn't really think about it because we just backed out. But yeah, <laughs> Black Vegetable says, yeah, that explains the early Oracle. Oh, the Maya, I see. Yeah, geez, they've wonder spammed already. But yeah, another coastal capital. How many channel points would I need for a frigate rush? Says the Black Vegetable. We might do one anyway. I honestly think we could do one anyway. We've only got one coastal city right now. So need to kill Copenhagen somehow, and we'll do that with a new settler. Busy connection established, that's good. We'll work on happiness. I guess we can put the road in here. That's going to be a little bit better. There's a farm here, and there's this chop here for Aarhus, which we can use to chop through a circus. We do need to work gold, because we've got none. England's units have arrived. Apparently they hate... I mean, England hates everybody. The Black Vegetable just cheered 100 bits. It's hurrah for Danish workers. Black Vegetable, thank you very much for the bits. Yes, indeed. Hurrah for Danish workers. Be another settler. People ask, what civ are you playing as? We're playing as the Shoshone right now. Yeah, we've got some English units show up. So we might need to divert these units back this way. We'll just take this settler. For another worker and then we will run around with our chariots some more danish units there chop that come back i guess i mean if she we don't even if she declares war she declares war we're just gonna have to deal with it this is the problem with doing early war on deities that the ai do often do this Would you be interested? no no war yet the units are just chilling right now That's good news. So we chopped off forest. We didn't lose any yield because we chopped it on planes. Finished tradition turn 66, which is perfect. Orhus grew again. It's kind of wild. We really need a courthouse there. We can build one now. Do that. Hanging gardens is still here. I guess we don't need to worry about England, but we can still... Put chariots on roads and keep them around. We've got engineering, so at least we can cross rivers. Let's go this way through Samarkand. I mean, England could just be trying to get through to our capital at this rate. It's very, it would be a very AI thing to do. I don't really want to be stood up there getting shot by the composite bowman. Oh, it's you. I'm listening. Is it one for two yet? No, is it two for three still? No, it's not. Let's just give England, like, four iron. We traded recently. That might help, because the iron's kind of pointless. Yeah, England denounces everybody. Big boy. None of the AI are tradition. Um, none of the ones we've met, I guess. Tradition, piety, piety. Liberty, honor. Um, This army's definitely going somewhere. Wow. Wow. the road here and finish this road improve stuff need to do some more forest chopping 
or tile improvement, something like that. It, it, would, it would really help to chop out of this hill, but we're kind of in danger of getting attacked by something if we do that. Just heal. I mean, if, I feel like England is coming, right? There's no, there's no way this isn't a war for us. We don't want to finish this chariot archer. We actually just need this settler. Thinkstown Hang Gardens is still there. England's not come for us yet. We've got chariots anyway. The swordsmen are a pain, but at least we're here. Road, road, road. Pasture and farm. I don't know what this army's doing. Kilimanjaro Pathfinder. Oh, that's true, yeah. I didn't even get the Kilimanjaro promotion, did I? How much is this? 55 gold. It's almost worth it for defense because we're kind of stuck right now if we do get declared war on. But we can maybe rock up with trebuchets for Copenhagen. Yeah, we've been declared war on now. It means we should probably build roads into Mo roads, walls into Moak. Although we have this defensive bonus. It's pretty powerful. Well, there's our road. Our gold pattern is gone. We've, someone's entered the Renaissance era already. Who do we want to friend up? Maybe it's... So peace blocks because we're at war with these. And we're not at war with Samarkand. Samarkand would be nice to friend up at least. Let's try that. And then I guess get out of here. We need to heal this. This composite bowman needs to come over here. Let's wait on the road. That needs to take a turn to heal. We need to get some happiness from the Maya. There's our new set. Let's go this way. Don't really want to build this chariot still. What can we build instead that would be useful? I mean, a swordsman to stand in front of those swordsmen would be handy. And then we really do have too many workers now. Oh, there's this composite bow, which actually does need to come to the front. Orhus is about to grow. I mean, it's about as good. We've got no two food tiles to work yet. That's going to solve some happiness issues. Minus 19 gold per turn only. We should perhaps have teched towards markets. We maybe need to get rid... Denmark built the pyramids for us. Maybe go here. Wow, okay. I mean, it's got no health left. Well, how do we work more gold? Because this gold deficit is a bit of a problem. We're working all of the gold in our capital. We're not working all of our gold here. And we are working all of our gold here. Okay. So, basically, we've got too much military. So, what can we delete? Maybe a couple of spare pathfinders would be perfectly fine to delete. And we could honestly delete some workers. Because we've got too many of those. We've got seven workers right now. I mean, it's a reasonable amount of units. It's probably because we've just built a bit too much military and stuff early on. Could do with deleting this part. This general is not really doing a lot. We, it would be good to general these truffles out eventually because we need them for a city-state. Hey, Kilimanjaro for the Pathfinder. I'm not sure what we do about this lack of gold right now. Building this temple is a bad idea, though, with the gold situation. Once we get a new city settled, it'll be okay as well. Because we're, co we're being costed gold per turn through that. So England is still coming. Yeah, meet some city states for a bit of gold to so the butter vegetables, true. Anyway, Ryan says, just joined the stream. Welcome to the stream, Ryan. Says, excited to see the Shoshone. Just won my first deity victory with a non-OP sieve with them. That's really cool. Nice job, Ryan. It's cool that you managed to get your first deity victory with the Shoshone. They're strong civilization. They're nice. 
We might just get attacked by this swordsman if we go up there. I don't really want to do that. We'll just chill here. We need to put a chariot inside a city like that. And then this Pathfinder needs to do what its job was always meant to. It's a shame that Maya doesn't desire anything. That would have been ideal. We can see if we can meet anyone else. Or perhaps pillage some English things. I kind of regret upgrading those composite bowmen now. Because I, I didn't realise the money, was money situation was going to go this badly. Right, we need to shoot something that is going to be... I mean, this is our happiness that that's standing on. We can get rid of that. We know we can just delete this unit by shooting it like that. And then we don't really want to attack... I mean, I guess we just will attack this. But it's totally going to pillage our stuff. We can get a mosque. So let's do that. There's our swordsman. We don't want to build any more military at all. Then we get gold. Could build the cargo ship to Hanoi. Salt available from the Maya is good. That's what we've been waiting on for a while. And he wants iron now. So let's see what we can do about that. Okay, that's better. Now only on minus four gold per turn. Our cities are quite good, which is why this gold problem kind of surprises me a bit. Let's bring a couple of workers over to this new city. But yeah, we definitely still need to need some more stuff. And we got the swordsman now. I mean, this chariot here is not doing anything. So let's go back in Mosinkani. And we will need hanging gardens, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Let's see if there's anything else just out here. Black Vegetable says, peace Denmark. So maybe he will send you a trade route. That's kind of interesting. We're not too bad now. <laughs> but Ryan says, oh, before realizing their ability to land grab is actually kind of OP. Yeah, I mean, the Shoshone are... Definitely powerful. I mean, I wouldn't say the land grabbing ability is OP, but it's certainly very strong. Can't really be dismissed. But yeah. Oh, Fluffy Timbits asks, have you ever considered trying Lake Mod? Yeah, the previous stream... Welcome to the stream festival, Fluffy Timbits. But yes, the previous stream we tried Lake Mod. Can we peace England now? No, apparently not. He's come in and stood on my... Bananas. I'm not afraid of a warrior. But we now can't cross the river. Let's just see if we can get... Can we get any units up here at all? No. Okay. Yeah, we're still losing gold. Austin Carney grew or her screw. That's fine. We finished our walls. Could probably double back for a water mill. Um, I mean, the gold situation is bad. We need a market. And then let's scout. The land does not end here. Which is why I guess a canal was necessary. But here is Kathmandu. Back for metal casting now. English trade route. Let's see if we can snipe it next turn. We're going to border grow here in two turns. So we might as well wait. We can grow again, although our gold is in a pretty perilous position. If we unwork this, we'll just start losing money. So maybe this should be a market first to provide gold room. And Aarhus should build a market after this circus. We need the happiness because we're about to start trying to grow cities. Thing. Then what can we do? We need to come down here and get all these civil service farms improved for Moss and Carney. Maybe get lumber mills. Anywhere we can. We're doing okay. Those turn 73. We're on 26 population. England's still sending waves of units for us to train on. Not, we don't really care about the warrior. They're standing on our tile. It's kind of annoying. A city state's now on the tile that we wanted. We'll just do some shots and wait. And then we've got this pikeman that appears to be... I mean, Denmark appears to now be doing a full-blown military advance. Seems a bit strange. Okay, we'll let them carry on. 
And we want to go canal right here so that we can get access to Denmark. There's this English caravan. Let's see if we can chase it down. And we don't need this chariot garrisoning anymore. But yeah, she's shown you have the potential for crazy snowball with Pathfinder ruins, says the Black Vegetable. Sat though sadly seldom on Deity and certainly not this game. Yeah, we only got two ruins, which is unfortunate. Well, I mean, we could peace Denmark now. We're not going to be back for 10 turns. We can peace England too. Well, we don't really need to peace Denmark if we can peace England. Oh, it's you. You were saying. So let's peace England and see if she's got no hard feelings anymore. I beg your pardon. Get embassies again. I beg your pardon. But yeah, chariot for the camp targeted with Kathmandu. Good point. I should have done that. Yeah, it would be nice to get Kathmandu's camp. I mean, she nearly values our ivory at a good rate. I don't really want to trade away for that. I don't know where this caravan went in the end. But we did get into the medieval era for workshops. So we can settle. Seems to be no reason not to. So we just Shoshone'd everywhere. And we did, in fact, get Sinai. I want to work this tile for a bit. We need to send it a cargo. That's what we need to do. Get one of them next in the capital. I guess after the Hanging Gardens. And we'll now try and double back for civil service. Yeah, we'll do something like that. We need a workshop as well. A lot of stuff to build. And a... I mean, a lighthouse is probably better here for the fish. And Denmark's run off now. We've got units garrisoned in every city. Maybe bring the chariots back over. And hopefully we can stabilize our goal per turn. Okay. Chariot can go try and clear that camp for Kathmandu. It's still there. Maybe we can bring one more chariot over as well. Just in case it needs two. We've still got this one great general. Which is quite good. But old Nubberish asks, what does an embassy do? When do and don't you want it? To be honest, it doesn't really matter on data difficulty. There's a tiny boost to diplomatic relations, which is really all I'm using it for. I mean, I, I would not give embassies to the AI if you don't want them to know where your capital is. It's harder for them to covet your stuff if they don't know where it is. We can actually get this swordsman right up on this hill to give us room. I'll put a lumber mill down there because all hers might be a bit light on production, if not. And now that our gold is slightly positive, we should maybe think about working more food. We can do this. Then to Moak. And this is kind of bad. We'll fix to Mark in a minute. Mark's not great. Because it has to work gold when it shouldn't be. But once we get markets up everywhere to support our army, we'll be okay. And as we grow, that will help with army size too. But yeah, it's, it's just, I mean, it gives you vision on each other's capital. So you get to see the tiles that they have around their city. So, for example, all of the vision we've got on Palenque was from getting an embassy. Same for the vision that we've got on London is all from an embassy. And it has a small bonus towards diplomatic relations, although I'm not entirely sure how much it really is. City-state's cleared its own camp. Quite excited for civil service on this capital. That's, got, that's what's going to help it grow big time. We might actually lose this swordsman if we keep it here, which is a bit annoying. I guess we back it up and heal it right in front of the city. And move the Pathfinder in, because we really don't want to have our chariot archers being slammed by swordsmen. That'd be a pretty terrible idea. We probably got, definitely got too overly aggressive there. 
Well, we've got markets up now, so we can stop working this gold. That was quite painful in here. Because we needed to be working these tiles, the civil service farm ones. And Orhas is now building a temple, which I don't like. It's definitely a stable again. And then Tamarok's onto a water mill. We don't need the food, really, so we'll go for a workshop. So much for this chariot archer. We can at least explore around behind Kathmandu. And see who else we can meet. English longbowmen are now on the field. Don't really need this tile yet, so we'll do this. But yeah, Arnold says, could do with finding the other sieves, indeed. I think that's what we'll do. I don't want to give you that iron again. What are, you, what are you on about, Elizabeth? We might take a bit of a double shot here, but we can actually do quite a lot of damage to this pikeman. Could be enough to stop him to stop Denmark from deciding to assault us. We can actually maybe grow in a guider canal. We have a 2 1 tile. We're definitely trying to find the other sieves. Panama's blockaded. But we just struggled to find them right now. It's probably quite understandable. Farm. Farm. Hanging gardens next turn. I really need this to be. I mean, this up here is actually a perfectly fine place for it to be. England's already sending us a trade route again. I know I would like to trebuchet Denmark. As opposed to frigates. I mean, I know the Black Vegetable said earlier that... AI really badly mismanages naval units, which is probably true. Although I still don't like the idea of trying to take on some deity AI navy. Oh, I don't really want to go out here. So we've got a ton of food now in this city, which is perfect. This city is doing its thing. The capital has got more food than it could be working. We'll try and give up some more gold and we'll just grow to the gold. Like this. And we've actually got more food that we could work as well. Okay, we can just kind of grow, try and grow to the gold since we're not in that desperate a position. And then we can push towards education for universities. Tamarak's going to be growing onto some good stuff as well. But letter. At least we've got movement. There's Canterbury all the way up there. We need to get this marble improved. I totally forgot about that for happiness. All right, it's got nothing to do. Improve a couple more tiles for a Gaidika. So that that city can grow a bit. Just bring the combo over here. Not that I predict that it's going to get used much. Grow to some production there. But yeah, oh, is my building hang gardens too? Not sure, actually. But yeah, it's a good job that Denmark doesn't have berserkers. It might be because we've, like, beat up on him quite badly. Or her screw. Nice. Tamarak grew and so did Moss and Carney. Perfect. We grew to the production and then we want to grow onto the gold. All the growth that we got has been helping. We've rigged Samarkand's election. It's probably going to be useful just to use the general to get these truffles. So I'm actually pretty tempted to do that because we can't go out and get this tile for a while anyway because we're being pressured a little bit by Shoshone units out here. Actually, we're not. So we could have done. But oh well. Let's send this up. Get that tile online. We're improving a lot of pointless tiles right now. We want to work this. Actually, we, we, I mean, we really need a balance of food and production. So we'll just grow. We've got a little bit of a gold buffer now. There's got to be an AI in here somewhere between the Maya and England. So we'll look for them. We actually can't improve the camp, but we might as well be pro with our worker movements. Still found no one. The Maya love us. Doesn't love us enough yet. England appears to love us now for some reason. Does that mean we can have a good deal now? Go ahead. No. Okay. Once a guy that could get this, this lighthouse, all would be good with the city. We should actually just buy this fish for the city as well. It puts us in a bit more of a precarious gold position again. But... I don't mind it so much. I don't really like the goal position we're in. So we can general one tile out from our borders. So we might as well just general up there. And move towards the truffles. I want to start calendar. 
We need to try and find ourselves... Wow, Aluru. Okay. Bogota. We finally found this cultural city-state ally. And maybe that's the, the one that we need to work on. But Samarkand is going to be quite good for our happiness. We need to find another way to get some cultural allies. I think that's probably the takeaway. Mosinkani is going to grow again. Now we want to quote-unquote grow onto the gold if we can. Not yet. we got a tiny bit of gold. We can handle it. Bring this worker up to go get that food tile. This caravan can continue to go to Mosinkani. We're not going to get more than a couple of trade routes back. Oh, Arnold says take a sip of your beverage. Arnold, thanks for keeping me hydrated. Three things are necessary for the salvation of... Wait, did we build Hanging Gardens? I totally zoned out from finishing Hanging Gardens. But we built Hanging Gardens, yay. Did not even notice. Right, well, we can general this down. Of our truffles. Mosinkani and Agaidika. Now we're growing to the gold, hopefully. And this can just do this until we finish the lighthouse. There's no reason to not really push towards education. And then maybe we go for that frigate rush. We can maybe push Denmark a little bit now. I really don't want to build this temple. Stable. Two sources of horses. Sounds like a good idea. We actually probably should build the temple. It's just our gold is so bad right now. It makes it difficult to justify building one. Yeah, we got plenty of civil service farm tiles. So right now our capital is quite nice, I think, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, it's less than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our capital and it needs a lighthouse actually for eight. So our capital has only got it's going to have eight three plus food civil sub three plus food farms, which is exactly the minimum I usually call for when I'm looking for a strong city. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this city's gonna have eight two, which is perfect. So tomorrow's gonna have great food in Aarhus. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have seven or eight in Aarhus as well. So that's gonna be perfect. LOL. We cannot get around. Rip. Okay, well, so there goes that plan. How, how far away are we? Is it like short? Maybe we'll send this to gold to Hanoi for a bit. We can send it to Palenque for even more gold. I guess. And we'll have to go get a... Uh, I mean, this city's going to be fine in a minute anyway. Although Denmark does appear to be running over here randomly. It's a bit of a pain. Despite the fact that we're pushing Denmark's units over here. They seem to be insisting on causing trouble. Oh, I've, done this, I've done these movements wrong, however. I was a bit complacent, that was. All that moving of units. Get this worker inside the city and wait. We will relocate this. Lighthouse is done in one turn. And then we can start growing over there. So it might grow. That's good. Work more food. If we can find whoever's down here. I'm assuming that's where everybody else is. Wait there. I mean, this can just go back in Aarhus. We can't really... I mean... Wall, okay. Some units have come flying out. So we've locked this in. Then we can just start going after this one. And this city can now work its fish. And probably build a granary so they can keep growing. Happiness is a bit dicey, but we can improve these truffles, so that's okay. This swordsman wants to take rough terrain and just fortify on the hill. Did we lose a chariot? I don't think so. Okay, we've done the wrong thing with our moves here. But we can fix it just by doing that. And then maybe we do need to push the composite bowman out again. But our gold pattern's good now. There's the Netherlands. Hello. Can we just like trade for his resource? We know we need silk for Hanoi. You want anything? A bit of iron? A couple of bits of iron? Three bits of iron? Okay. Trade for his luxury seems fine. I would like to send this to a Gaidika right now, but it's going to get pillaged, so we're going to wait. <laughs> no, we don't want to war Panama. 
Okay. But yeah, gift that exploring chariot to Samarkand. Oh, we could do that, actually. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Black oh, anyway. So we've got some comments that I missed, actually. So Arnold says it's a weird map, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. It's it's quite snaky. You can often get quite snaky maps. Oh, there's the advisor screen. This thing's dying. It needs to back up. We've got a temple. We could do with getting a mosque here, then go for a garden. I'd like to come out and chariot this thing now. There's another mosque, which is good. That's culture as well, to mark a mosque and Kani grew. The city is kind of fine working its gold now. But I must admit, it would be better to work the horses first. Horses is even better. Brilliant. And I wonder if we should work a workshop slot in Moss and Kani for a world wonder. Oh, we're already doing it. Cool. Probably because I missed a growth here without noticing. The lighthouse will be good, followed by Colosseum. We want to start a road. I a Gaidica will need some fishing boats. Elizabeth's got some crabs available for trade. Can we trade them? Okay, Elizabeth actually likes us now. Is that does that mean we're gonna get a good iron deal? No, okay. We're actually trading away a lot of stuff. I mean this chariot. It might be worth just giving it away to the city-state, as the Black Vegetable said. I don't know that we're going to get this city-state ally now anymore. I mean, we're going to get truffles. So that's going to get us pretty close. In fact, it's going to get us far more than close enough that it's going to be worth gifting the chariot away. Denmark's being a bit aggressive. Picala's to Clever and William. Okay. And we have education. We've got to take a filler policy. We might have to take two, although I don't really like the idea of taking two. Piety might help us to get some shrines and temples up. Commerce could be good for some sort of weird gold purchasing later. Honor, the war, liberty, aesthetics. I mean, maybe aesthetics could be quite useful. Because it does at least allow us to build... Well, I mean, there's this policy here that gets these buildings built faster, so we can go for an early hermitage. Get all these great people more often. Commerce would be good if we get to mercantilism, but I don't know if we're going to get there yet. Probably not. Patronage for city-state allies. Explo for exploration hammers. I don't really want to get exploration hammers, so I don't think we're going to take that as our policy. The Timuric combo can go after the Samarkand camp. That's true, actually. It could. It's a bit far, but maybe we could wiggle our way around. we got a chariot and a combo. We'll give it a go. Liberty for the culture. Four cities right now. We'll probably take Copenhagen for a fifth. Commerce. No, uh, we're not really... I mean, are we really going to get to mercantilism? Probably not. I, I, I want to try it though, just in case. I would, like, I would like to do that strategy if it's available. We don't actually need to enter through acoustics anymore, so we can do compass. Pick up Kilimanjaro promotion on the way, says the white vegetable. Yeah, I think so. That would seem like a good idea, so I think we'll do it. We'll just end some of these units. We need to get rid of this pikeman so that we can send stuff back to our capital. This road is kind of pointless, actually. I'm not entirely sure we should be building it. We still need to find who the other AI is. We'll find them in a minute, I'm sure. And we completed this quest for Hanoi. We really should have sent the trade route there. Because they've got... What do they gift? The Berber Cavalry, which could actually be quite useful. And we want to turn around and go into a university everywhere. Head of this garden, for sure. This is still building a granary. But this tile is definitely worth working now. And we are working a workshop in here again. But we should certainly be working the sheep instead. And then this is probably just the best tile for us. While we wait for our bananas to come back. But yo, AGS96 says hi. Hello, AGS96. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah, the English profit location for Petra. Where was that? I guess somewhere out here was pretty good, huh? In here, I imagine. All those Petra hills and Aluru would have been quite dreamy. Petra. Let's kill that.
We can just pull back. I need to keep growing here. We can't even afford to work Sinai without that cargo ship. The Songhai is the last player in the game. Yeah, this truffle's improved. Maya's now 83 ahead of us, even though we just rigged in there. Oh no, we haven't yet. Okay. That's that dealt with at least. Our worker got... I don't, how do we move our worker around? I'm not, I don't remember doing that. Must have done though. Oh, I moved this chariot back for no good reason at all. Yeah, so tomorrow's population point is free because of tradition. This city is growing like a steam train. I can grow into the workshop slot and probably just work it. And we actually need to work this tile in the capital. Let's go get that now. The fish. You can send the compass trade route to Hanoi if you want more if you want more units in any case. Yeah, I think so. I'd quite like to try and work hard at getting allies. It feels like a shame not to have any allies. It's something that I need to get better at in my play is to do allies. Everyone's been quite chill so far, apart from the Maya who seem to have yeah, three cities. Every, every, everyone is quite chill so far. We can't get anywhere yet. We're just chilling in Samarkand's territory. Fortunately, we're friends. Get in Aarhus to save yourself. This pikeman's out of the way now. Means we can finally send this caravan to the guide car. Or has grew. Yeah, we want to work the workshop slot. Might as well. We have got desert faith in our cities. Mosinkani grew, which means we want to work the iron. That's fine. And Tamoak grew. And we could actually... I mean, we could work the gold now. Or we could just work this food to try and... Try and keep our cities getting better as they go along. Danish scout up there. We do still need to dispense with Denmark at some point. <laughs> we need to fix these sheep. Yeah. Oh, slam the pike with the Pathfinder. I could have done, actually. I probably should have done. But it's all right. The Pathfinder is going to walk away. I mean, I don't like the fact that it has walked away, but... Probably could have done. Probably should have done. We're getting converted everywhere. Guide could grow. Good. What do you want to do this now? I, a cargo ship would have been so much better. We maybe enter the... I mean, we've only got one mountain city. I'm not sure how good entering through astronomy is at this point. How's our population doing? We're 4 cities, 43 pops, so we should be just about on time for a good, a reasonable benchmark. Still can't get through here. We can... No, we can't get through here either, so we're just still chilling in Samarkand territory. We're 89 behind. Hopefully we can rig. And we need a trade route. There's the cargo ship. We need to try and fix up some of these trade routes. And we're still training on Denmark, which is good. Got ourselves another general. Which could be very useful for later in the game. Let's get a pasture up on these sheep. No to the peace treaty. I really would like to go and attack Denmark and take it the rest of his land which may just require some frigates <laughs> black vegetables is on the way to navigation I like it yeah I mean maybe we should have done we'll enter through whatever we'll enter through one of these anyway so we're doing okay on Samarkand this pikeman's trying to come back hopefully it comes closer granary done library next just to start generating probably workshop and then library to start generating some more science there there's Jen and then ah oh, we can finally get next to Kilimanjaro so we'll guarantee that tile for us and then we can move the combo through next turn is that camp even still there no it's not even desired right now so we can just go home 
Wine is available with England. Not really anything I want to trade it for unless we've got a quest for wine. Which we don't. Denmark is still one city. They are bottom army. We're actually higher army score than they are. Oh, FGS was is back to quick speed indeed. Back to quick speed. I'm not really... I, I don't really... This If this pikeman comes to us, it comes to us. I mean, maybe we can try it. Let's try this. If it's healing in here... I wasn't going to do it until I saw that it was fortifying. But yeah, we are back to quick speed. Piers Elizabeth is now going after the Songhai. That means we can get rid of this pike now. But I wasn't really too concerned about it being there. But it's nice to kill a unit when you get the chance. We can just do this here. Make, it, make the city a little bit better. Lots of stuff growing. We've got a jungle tile that we can work. And we should start working this workshop slot in favour of the university. Probably should work the uni slots in the capital as well. Although I would quite like to get an engineer in here first. There's all her Tamark grew and Moss and Carney grew. So where did we grow in Moss and Carney? Over to there. Yeah, we're not going to generate a, uh, a scientist yet by doing one. So we can afford to do that, but we need that cargo ship to go back to the capital. I guess we wait now and put a trading post down. We should probably spam trading posts everywhere. We don't really need to put farms on these planes, tiles. That flood planes. That's not just a desert. We should think about trying to conquer the rest of Denmark's land, though. And I should have gone backwards because this, this barb camp's gone. <laughs> Be nice observatory city, Orhus. I guess we can we can go for astronomy. That's fine. We'll go for it now. Is a guy to can't faith focus? It's not actually, and it probably should be. Try and nick a little bit of faith off Sinai. I want to get Sinai worked. Gardens. We can build a garden here. Or a forge for building military units. Might be good. Tomorrow it can't really get can't really get away with working the university right now. Actually it can. It can afford to get away with working one slot, but not two. We really don't want to finish this chariot. It would be better to start finishing things like Water Mills and the Writers Guild and the National Epic and stuff. Because we do need culture. We are going to enter the Renaissance era, so this is a perfectly fine time to do that. We need to spam Galias from the capital, though, if we want to go to go and frigate Copenhagen. It should go down with about five frigates or so. Maybe we turn up with, like, frigates and crossbows. Maybe. I mean, so I almost feel like we could just show up with trebuchets and win the city. And we can build trebuchets with everything. And we can come around here and just walk in with two trebuchets. Walk up with a bunch of trebuchets. So actually, let's just take physics. I'm not sure I want to... It, I, it just doesn't feel like a particularly strong idea to go and frigate Denmark in the current situation that we've got. Because they've got no military. We can actually trade to a guider canal. But I would quite like to trade back to the capital first. We're going to need a strong capital. The forge does not help for frigate production. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, yeah. I and mean, we've got a harbour now. Oh, Nubrick says, you, you really underestimated Pathfinders in combat this game. They are better warriors. I mean, I know they're better warriors. But I try, in general, I try not to slam a lot with my melee units. Crickets would be for the Maya. I guess that's true. Maya does have three cities. And most of the rest of the AI might be a bit of a joke at some point in the game because of ink. I mean, who has got the tech? Maya's got tech. I mean, I don't like spamming cities out of one city that's the capital. I would much rather just stroll up and battleship them or artillery them or something later. I mean, it's a bit of a pain to artillery through there, but... We'll have to see how things pan out. I don't really like it in this situation. I feel like we could get a bit behind the game a bit. We're going to want a crossbow. We will actually want a pikeman. Or actually a horseman might be a better choice. Civil service farm tile there that we never did anything with. 
All right, what do we build here? Just finish some random stuff. A temple would be... Finishing temples would actually be quite helpful right now. Oh, we've got the statue of Zeus as well. Which would be helpful. And we can cargo Moss and Carney. And that's going to help it grow because it's plus 36. We work the uni now? No, because we're going to produce a scientist otherwise by accident. Where's the scientist coming from? Is it in Aarhus because we've got a garden? It is. 10 turns for an engineer. I would quite like one of those Renaissance wonders, so we'll take one. <laughs> like this was a salt capital with lots of wonders I could not resist. That's very true. Maybe we should have gone for it because of all the wonders. We can take it at some point. Maybe we will just artillery it down. Moss and Carney into Moat grew. I mean, I want to work this tile, the one that's right here. We can still afford to work the uni slot and not produce a scientist. And we can purchase with faith, which basically would mean buying a mosque over here. That's good. Denmark appears to have slowed down their pressure a bit. So let's get some units inside cities. And this general that's kind of dangerously running around over there. <laughs> this is a good tile for Aarhus. We need to improve that as over this stupid desert tile that we appear to be improving. We need to take Copenhagen soon though. It's getting a bit late for actually capturing Copenhagen. So we'll spam some trebuchets and some crossbows and deal with it. We've got to watch out for our renaissance entry. We really should build a guild. I mean, we'll, let's one turn acoustic so we're in. And then we can come back for guilds. Orhus and a Gaidika. We can work Sinai here now. City's pretty bad. Need some help. Need some gold. We do actually have some gold. Maybe we can use the gold to purchase some things. Finish the catapult. We really do not want to finish the chariot archer. I mean, we can build some galleas. I mean, they're actually... I can one turn a galleas, so we might as well... Oh no. And can we sell some iron to fund a war effort? I mean, that's frigate iron, but we don't need frigates anymore. I guess now that we've decided we're not really frigating. Food is a little bit lackluster here, I must admit. We can probably general some great tiles off Kathmandu. And that feels like the best use of this great general. That will make a Gaidika infinitely better by just nicking <laughs> the good tiles from Kathmandu. The horse and the this would go and this plains would go a long way to making the city better. Someone's already got industrial era. One galleas. Can we just spam a couple of galleasses and sail them around? While we build trebuchets in Aarhus and expos with the gold upgrades. It was like quite a good plan. Is that tile that we want to work? And bring our great general over. I mean, if we're going to attack, we would push the chariots. Oh, Andrew Baboid has just gifted one sub to viewers. Andrew Baboid, thank you very much for the generous gifted sub. Welcome to the stream today. How are you doing? It says, hi, lads. Oh, Gnubberish asks, why are you avoiding the Renaissance era? Because we didn't need to get into the Renaissance era yet, and we already had a spy because the AI had ended up in the Renaissance era. Babbage says, I think you underestimate the power of frigates here. I think you can take both mine and Danish capitals with them cheaply. I think we could take them. I, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that I don't think we could take them. My debate with the frigates is more... We still can't work this. My debate with the frigates is actually just more to do with... 
We could work gold. Why don't we just work gold over these pointless tiles? My debate over the frigates is actually just more to do with not trying to... Because if I'm going to do a frigate attack, where am I going to build the frigates? Every single one has to be built on Moss and Carney. It's like four turns of production each. I mean, we'll pre-build some Galias, but we don't have much gold to upgrade them. So, I mean, Moss and Carney is going to have this set of buildings from now until about turn 120 if we go for frigates. And there's all this stuff that I still want to get done in here. I'm spamming some Galias. I'm quite happy with that. And I'm, I kind of feel like Galias might be all we need. I don't know. Maybe we will need frigates. But we don't have the gold to do it. I mean, we'll see. I'm hoping trebuchets and Galias will help punch through. Because Denmark's, all of Denmark's army appears to be right here. We got gifted this swordsman now. Whereas, if I'm going to do something like trebuchets, I can build them in all of my cities. And crossbows. As much as I like the idea of doing frigates, and I will build a couple of galleas to swim round. It just feels like it's going to be quite a tough ask to build them all in the cities that we've got. But I, I, I'm not denying it will work, because I'm pretty sure it would work. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess I put, put, could put guilds in there. But how many hammers are frigates on quick speed and watch your capital production? You don't think it'd be a four turn? I mean, what is a frigate? It's, what is it? 123, 38.5. Yeah, almost. Oh, AGS96 just subscribed for one month. AGS96, thank you very much for the, for the subscription. Thank you very much indeed. That's incredibly generous. I mean, it probably would be somewhere between four and three turns, I think, at the end of the day. How do we ally Hanoi? So maybe it would be four turn free. I mean, it's four to three turn frigates. If I want five, that's a lot of production. I mean, it might, might well be worth it at this point. I don't really know. But we've got all of this inland army to use. Don't really want to slam that. Machinery in a couple of turns. Frigates does put us off the good path. I guess has to be a consideration. I don't really want another chariot archer. It's third Galias wouldn't do any harm, and then we can maybe switch to something else. Try and figure out what we need to do with these workers. Build a road to Copenhagen. Probably should have done that a long time ago. The Gaidic is about to grow. These tiles. Which is why we're going to steal some off the city-state. Next capital's point is going to be free. Can we work this scientist slot yet? Yes, we can. I mean, we might still... I mean, I guess we'd have to try frigates now if we were going for Palenque. We can upgrade these. So I don't think we want to do anything with them yet. I want to move the trebuchet forward. We've got this horseman now. So we've got a couple of crossbowmen. Nick is good there. All right, let's take these tiles off the city-state. Is there any better way that I can do this to take some other good stuff? Not really, because we can't go in there and take that. We've just had all the city-states tiles and get this worker over here to improve them. Here's this workshop. That's finally done. Library. We could slam that, but I don't think we need to. Begin the long swim with the Galias. Need another trade route.
road here, maybe. Our house is going to grow. It's got a tile to grow too, so that's fine. We can probably switch over to doing full Great Scientist there soon too. But yeah. Lobo says, not use the general for the war first. I mean, we could use the general for the war, I guess, but a guy that can ease all these tiles to get better now. Denmark's army is still smaller than ours is. Which is not an everyday occurrence on deity. This needs to heal, ideally. So maybe we drop this back. I don't really want to get any closer to Copenhagen right now. Get this chariot over. That's doing nothing here. We want to go right where this swordsman unit is. It's kind of pointless garrisoned on that tile. And then maybe we can take another Ebuchet. An Orha screw like it's supposed to. Got some good we're working some good stuff here. Yep, so we're still generating our engineer first, which is all we wanted. One more Galias. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. We can just finish this chariot archer and then get into useful things in the capital. Galias are going to take quite a while to get around to the Dem to the Danish capital. So they get there in time. Moak will grow. That's ready for it though. Horseman can wait. We don't want to go into these tiles because it's in city bombard range. I'm actually taking hits with this trebuchet. Oh, I see what you're saying now, Mr. Jarvis says, damn, I missed the notification for the stream, right? That's unfortunate. Apologies. Do we like this? Do we work a little bit of food? Maybe. Crossbow done here. Get another crossbow. Maybe. And then we need to actually kill this. What do we do with healing this unit now? We've got a crossbowman. I don't really want to move the trebuchet into the city yet. So it's a question of where the crossbowman will be most useful to be, and it's probably up here. Banking. Is leaning gone? Leaning's not gone. Leaning. And we finish these chariots. So we can move them forwards to go in. This has been quite beneficial chariot rushing a deity AI actually. I wasn't the most convinced by it before but it seems to have done quite well for us now. To grow to some production again. I mean we're, doing, we're working all of the tiles we want at this point. But yeah, our number says you could take chocolate. Um, so I thought, I don't think you can because you can only general... Oh, there goes leaning. No need to go for that yet. We can work this writer's guild now because we must. What can we give up? Just for one turn, we have to give something up. Let's give this up and then we'll take out the workshop slot. And we need to go full guild. So we'll take artist guild next and we probably need the musician's guild too. Library done. We'll need happiness. We'll go for Colosseum. we got a bit more vision on Mayan territory over there now. Alright, what do we got here? We're going to have to lose some chariots. That's fine. That's the whole point of having them here. We need to find room to push. This chariot will die and then we'll probably be able to find room to do some stuff. And we really should have run some units around the back. But we've got these Galias coming in. They'll do the running around the back for us. Only like five more turns before they get to the city. We've got another worker to come in and help out. 
I'm guessing we should probably put a road right on this tile so that we can easily get across the river. But these chariots, they're virtually worthless to us, so we might as well lose them. So I need horses. Trade them away to William where we can. Just the one, okay. Make peace with Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, I didn't do that, did I? Oh, there goes Sistine. Wow, one turn before we were able to get it as well. Wow. Well, we can just chill and hold on to this great engineer. I'm still pretty happy about generating it. Because we have got a great engineer hanging around now for us to use. Which is always valuable. And we're working full uni slots everywhere we've got a uni. We really need to move over. We do. Move this crossbowman round. And then we can come out here. Now this can't do anything. So I guess we'll just finish this off. So Gaidika Grooves. What that? Maybe shade done over here. Might be time for a shrine and a temple. We put farm here? Oh, I didn't even realise that was a river tile. Wow. Okay, more cultures needed. Quest for this cultural... This cultural city-state wants a musician. We're still rigging in Samarkand. Have we got any hope of becoming the ally? We're 75 behind the Netherlands. We can have an instant road connection with Denmark like this. We can make use of our canal. Get this road in here. These things have these have definitely arrived too late. The workers to build the roads are definitely too late. I don't know that we need to build any more military. But if we lose some stuff. You could have the fish and plop next to the chocolate. Oh! Yes, I could have done. You're right. Could have stolen the chocolate. I didn't see it either, yeah. Oh well. Could have done that. You're very correct. Sorry? What, what is that? Oh, uh, maybe some, yeah. Thank you. We can go Shrine and Temple. Crossbowman's done here. We actually don't need anything else. I mean, we could build a guild in this city, but the food's not that high. Maybe we just use this to build a knight. Might be helpful. Thank you. Um, just a couple. We need to push in somehow. Maybe we try and sail some crossbows around. We can like move over that way. And begin some roads. Okay. I guess we got this road connection now. I mean there's nothing left to do apart from move in. But I guess we will next turn. Hopefully these galleas can arrive in time. Oh there's a cargo ship out there. I hope that stays on the coast. Nice tile. Got this trebuchet here. They don't have indirect fire, do they? So we do need to try and find a way just to run them all the way up. I mean, we won't be able to, but we can run them close. Move them all into the second ring next turn. We lost that chariot, which is what we intended. Maybe I should have built a trireme to wander around. Gonna have to kill that like this, and that's gonna buy us a tiny bit of room. Let's just have a look. Okay, there's one Gallias and a composite bowman in the city. There and in there, I guess. Debuchet. Take rough terrain. Move it in. Ross Bowman. Let's put something rubbish up there. Debuchet. The trebuchets are on their way. We can move a crossbowman in too. Don't know where that cargo has gone. We'll have to try and find it later. That says he's a little bit better now. We can probably science our way through printing press. No wonders to be had, sadly. Musicians Guild. Got to get the Artist Guild works now. We can do that. 
like this. Still got plenty of food and we're going to grow it next turn. And finally open rationalism turn 106. Not the best timing, but also not the worst. And we want to just get rid of this jungle that's there. On the AI's territory. Get rid of some of these pesky tiles if we can. Might not make a difference. What do we lose then? Whoa, we lost. We got one shot on a trebuchet. Instant heal. Move forward. Drop that down. Yes. Drop this down. That general is in the water. Yes, we can kill the great general and open rationalism. Don't really want to do anything with the galleasses yet until we have a few of them around there. Tomoak, Tomoak, Mosinkani, Mosinkani. Lost a trebuchet. Holosean. I guess we can build another trebuchet. We've got a knight here. That could be quite useful. Come over this way. Don't want to attack that scout. Good, we didn't. Okay. Don't really need this thing to survive anymore. Can't really afford to move this trebuchet in yet. Pillaged. Lost the chariot. Perfect. That's what we wanted. The chariots are just sacrificial at this point. We can take this tile up here now. Like that. And then cut down his bananas. Oh, the heresy. Set up and shoot. Got a couple of galleasses in. Red Fort goes to the Maya. Yes, we do want to work the workshop. But it's not great. That really needs to be sent a cargo ship. We've got a temple up here. Might as well be a garden. There's another civil service farm tile that has to be worked. Push for economics. Check out what's going on around England. Ah, oh, pike. Nice. What do we have? We've got this crossbow. It's not really doing anything right now. Got that down. Clearer, clearer vision. I was supposed to do that this turn, wasn't I? Actually pillage with our swordsmen. We know what tiles we need to occupy with our best units, which is why we're doing this. But anyway, Raptor Crasher asks, do you build all your guilds in your biggest city or do you split them up? Oh, let's, let's work together. I, I usually build them in the city with a national epic because the higher great person generation. That only makes sense if you do not want a culture victory though. Otherwise you'll get the culture and it puts less of a strain on one city. You think, yeah, I mean, we'll think about it in a minute. This, uh, I mean, this is kind of... This trebuchet is done for, right? There's not really a lot that it can do that's worthwhile. We'll pillage anyway. But we might as well just swap with the crossbowman. And heal. We need to find a way to get this horseman in, actually. Maybe run the horseman around. There. That's the cargo we want to get. We can shoot Copenhagen now. I mean, we might just be able to move a knight in, which we'll try. But yeah, I'll, I can sit, I'll ponder that question in just a minute. As soon as we're done with this war, and we can work mus Musicians Guild now. And I guess we give up a little bit of gold to do this. This trade route was going to the capital. That needs to continue. Yeah, he's got plus 23 food, which is a bit small, but we're 22 pot. Don't want to ban gems. Let's not do that. I might have made a mistake friending the song high. They're getting smacked by everybody. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about it, although at the time I probably should have known. Keep chopping his jungle out. <laughs> so that we can get some more shots on Copenhagen. Uh, but yeah, with the guilds... Oh... 
Fat vegetables. I still think Copenhagen is very poorly accessible land units. You can shoot from two tiles before you chop the bananas. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's annoying and surprising. Usually my stick to the top of the tech tree. Oh yeah, going red fort. Yeah, it is what it is. Travis, this would have been right when our frigates land as well. They'd have had a 71 combat strength capital with red fort. Granted, we would have had Statue of Zeus, but I don't really know what that would have meant for our attack. But yeah, so with the, with the guilds, the reason... So I tend to do a lot of putting my guilds in my capital just because the capital is the one unit that you want to just throw loads of units or loads of food into you're typically going to do a couple of trade routes into your capital anyway so what i usually do is let's go in here and give copenhagen another couple of shots we do need to think about chopping well we'll, we'll get the bananas chopped eventually we need to think about getting this knight in we should just be able to move this out and get it in on one turn and then shoot on the next. I guess we'll go in the water. World's Fair did pass, so we need to work World's Fair now. I wonder if our luck's got banned. We'll have to check. We don't need, we don't need to finish any of these. Garden would be nice to finish, but we need to work World's Fair. Make sure we do well on it. This is Pikeman's here. This doesn't really mean anything move one of these in so that maybe we can convince it to shoot the chariot don't really know we've got a stacked trebuchet the horseman to swim around but that's not going to be useful and this crossbowman can't do anything see so how's the boys how's our production doing we're third with 102 so we might actually win the thing which is quite good but but yeah so the thing about the guilds is so usually i build them a lot in the capital because if you build, I mean, you, if you build all of them in the same place, it stacks quite well with the Hermitage, which is why I've historically done it. It also stacks well with getting the National Epic, which is worth it regardless of whether or not you're going for a culture victory. We never did get this religion in Moss and Carney. Maybe we should try it. While missionaries are still quite cheap. No to the peace treaty. We're going to have your city, thank you. We did indeed lose the chariot. That's perfect. That's what we wanted to lose. And I guess we only need a... We might even only need this round of bombardment before having to fill this in already. He ch chops his bananas down now. Let's just back up one. We need to make this swap because the crossbowman's going to do way more damage and we just want him... We, we just want the chariot to be within city shot range. Boom. Create a puppet. And there we go. Copenhagen is ours. And that's kind of balls us up a bit. <laughs> we probably should have redid these trades before we captured someone's city. And I have screwed this one up quite, quite big time. Can we maybe get a trade with Askia? We can. Good. Got gems here. The ore has grew. Okay, at least, at least this didn't end up being screwed up, which is good. Just buy this lumber mill tile, that's fine. We got minus 16 GPT, which is a bit bad. We can delete units, maybe? Makes a lot of sense. Build farms. We got all these galleas we don't know what to do with now. But yeah. Um, the world's fair... I oh, know it's a reasonable timing. I don't know. We're we're eight percent behind the Maya. We can't sadly acquire this iron from England. We have, however, captured a trade route because we got Colossus and the pyramids from Copenhagen. Wow. Okay. If we can spread, I think we're going to get this religion in Moss and Carney. We've got this great writer too. We need a worker. We've got workers doing all sorts of pointless things where they could be improving an actual good tile for the capital. That Colossus trade route is pretty huge for us. We should just get, get, get rid of some of these units. We can gift away this chariot. 
Is this still a gold quest? No, Bogota. It wants a musician. We're going to try and generate one for culture. How's Hanoi doing? We've got 34 influence with them. I guess we can gift the chariot. If we have one left. And gift the swordsman. We don't need any of these military units anymore. So we can just gift them away to the cities periodically. But yeah, so the... the we don't actually need this pathfinder here either. We can probably delete that. Or this horseman. Probably delete that too. But yeah, so you don't... You don't need... You don't need to put all your guilds in the same city. And it's quite a lot of pressure to put them all in one city. But if you can... Like putting them, putting them together like this. And then timing it with a national epic and a hermitage. Can be quite valuable for your culture. Will he live long enough for a research agreement? It's not actually... He's probably not got enough science for one. The Maya don't seem to hate us for doing this. These would be a good place to get allies with. Still no. We need to send Copenhagen a trade route. It can send it the Colossus trade route. It's fine. City connection established is perfect. Mosinkani is growing. Could be working gold again, but we don't really need to. I'd rather work production. We can choose the host to be... I mean, the Maya will stay host if we vote for them. But we can make the Songhai host, who's someone that we like. Should we try industrialization or should we go for scientific theory? It would be nice to get fast ideology this game if we get the chance. We've got two empires worth of land, kind of. So maybe we'll get it. These trebuchets are pretty useless. Just give them away to these city-states if we can. We can't do it yet. Delete this Pathfinder. And then fix the tiles. We can use this Galias to scout the seas. And then we can maybe dedicate one crossbowman per city or something as defense. It's done a swap there. Nothing out here. And we can convert Moss and Carney and grab a mosque. A little bit more culture. We're up to 48 now. And this cargo ship, it was to Palenk for gold, but that's why our gold return's gone nowhere. The Gaidika needs the food. Copenhagen also needs the food. So we can maybe send it from a Gaidika to Copenhagen. What buildings did we keep in Copenhagen? So we have the pyramids, which is nice. We only got a granary, library, water mill, university. We got all the most important buildings, which is quite big. Delete this horseman. And then keep bringing trebuchets around. Maybe we can move this swordsman around too. Probably gift away the swordsman. I feel threatened on this coast. We should run that back to the capital. But maybe the anger kicks in next turn and he says the black vegetable. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Give, give them a few turns to start hating us, maybe, yeah, as you said. We'll see anyway. But yeah, so I mean, I tend to put the, all the guilds in one city primarily because you're usually throwing a load of population in your capital anyway. And it's surprisingly it's surprising how high population you need for working guilds in a city to be pretty ineffective. Or to no for working guilds in the city to really wreck your growth or your production. You usually you'll usually wreck one or the other. Oh, okay, yeah, we're being denounced by England now. You usually wreck one or the other by working specialist slots inside a city. So I tend to, in a city where I already want to concentrate food to get high production, I tend to try and build my guilds there. You want to send at least one trade route to a guild city. So if you don't want to be sending trade routes out to cities, don't put a guild in it. So I usually just line it all up with the capital because the capital is usually a city that's getting at least two, probably three trade routes. And you can grow it quite big before you have to start working the guild if you're going to put the guild in there. That's usually the way I reason it, at least. We've got a pikeman and a swordsman. We we'll probably keep a couple into Moak so that we don't get challenged and we'll bring this crossbow over. At least we've got the pyramids. That's nice. It's been a while since I did capturing of wonders from the AI. So that's been really cool that Denmark's actually built us a few. 
I'm pretty sure there was a city-state I never peaced for a long time. It was Hong Kong. And this car go to Copenhagen. And now we need to actually fix our happiness, but we're still doing World's Fair. It's a shame we can't buy this. It would have been nice to get this wine off England, but there's just no way of getting it now because we've been denounced. Allying Samarkand would be good. We could actually do that. Ally Samarkand. We rig in seven turns, but if we dropped all of our gold in there, we'd actually be able to ally Samarkand right now. But then that stops us from being able to do anything with that cultural city-state. Let's just put the trebuchet in a Gaidica. This crossbowman can wait in Copenhagen. We'll have the knight. Actually, just stay in Copenhagen too. Okay, the Songhai likes us. I'm pretty sure by friending the Songhai we've made, yeah, we made ourselves an enemy of practically everyone. England transformed us away from this city, but not before we got the mosque. It's quite useful. Right, person born. Tamarak's religious. Okay, we've changed religion in here. We've got Jesuit education in Tamarak all of a sudden. It's pretty ridiculous. This World's Fair is taking a long time to complete and I don't like it. Well, I mean, we might win it. I don't know if we've got... We should be able to win it because no one's got much production. We need to clear these pointless roads at some point. As a scientist, just chill. We can put the trebuchet into Mark. If we can give some unit gifts, which we can. We gift away this pikeman. Gift away this swordsman. Then this crossbow goes here. Trebuchet goes here. That's quite a good gold situation then. Oh, we've actually still got two more trebuchets. More trebuchets, crossbowmen. So we'll bring this crossbowman over and just drop this one in Copenhagen. And that's done. We can bring these galleasses back. And that's now plus two in terms of happiness. I'm sure we can find something useful to do with that worker over here. It's actually something useful we can do right there too. Want food first. Let's get that. Sleep. The archer. Take the crossbow and carry on. But anyway, Raptor Crusher asks, what ideology are you thinking about choosing? I would probably choose freedom, but I could see the other two as well. I choose freedom so much, I don't want to choose it again. So I'm hoping we can get autocracy. I didn't queue any, anything up behind World's Fair in a few of these cities, did I? Which is quite bad of me. We have got a golden age that's dawned, which is nice. And we can take secularism. And secularism is important because it's a massive boost to science. I forget how much we just boosted by working all of these universities. But look at how much we can boost it if we do the trick where anywhere we're working a production tile, we go and work a workshop slot instead. That's three science right there. Oh man, this gold is so good. How do you, how do you give up this gold? I guess you do like this. And then no production here, sadly. Zoo needed. A windmill would honestly be quite good. In fact, better than both of these is to build our Circus Maximus here. Anywhere you're working production tile, work a workshop. It's three science. In here, we're already doing it. In the capital, we can now go and do it. We haven't annexed over Copenhagen yet. Although we could probably do with it. How long is it in resistance for? Two more turns, so not yet anyway. Colosseum done in the cap. A windmill would be nice to build. A little, at least somewhere, having a windmill would be quite good. Because, I mean, we could try for National Epic as well. Get Ironworks built. Two turns until coal. So maybe there's something we can build in two turns, which would be handy. A stables and a forge would be good. I guess we'll go for a forge first. We've got this garden. It'll be good to get a zoo built. And in here, we... Should work on a little bit of faith. Okay, now we need to find a natural wonder. So it'd be good to try and get open borders with some AI to see who's got it. I'm assuming there's one behind the Songhai. So let's go and get in their territory and see if we can find it for the city-state. Cargo ship to Moss and Carney. We need to build those trade routes really desperately. I wonder if they should be what we build here instead of the stable. 
Because Cop giving Copenhagen production would be huge right now. Ah, oh, it's one turn. Let's build a cargo ship. We might even find the natural wonder up this way too. Put this into a farm. Just have the knight heal over here. I guess that's England's one denounce for the day though. England always likes the denunciation. Bring this crossbowman forwards. We've got a crossbowman and a trebuchet we can keep around to Moak. But yeah, it's quite a lot. So, we're, I mean, we've already we've increased our science by a few right now, but it's quite big because we get, I mean, what is it? It's two per specialist, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, six, so we increased our base science by 32. That will get multiplied up by the universities by 33%. So we've increased our base science by like 40 or something. Bear in mind, we're at 230. We've increased our science by over a sixth. So that's about... 18%, 19%. Kind of crazy. But yeah, I don't want to do another freedom game again. So I'm tempted. And we've now, we won the World's Fair, so our culture's doubled. And we've got a city-state friend for a few turns of Bogota. I, I kind of want to give them all of our gold. Grind done. University was really kind of necessary. We can take humanism to get going on our great scientist production. See where we can find this natural wonder in Songhai territory. And we can annex Copenhagen. Because we do need to build a courthouse here. And not go gold focus. And we don't want to work a university either. Bananas need to be worked. Civil service farm. Bananas, civil service farm. Horse. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure getting a trading post down there is worthwhile in Copenhagen. But there's not a lot else to do with the workers. Okay, and so from a Gaidica. Wait, we are we are we're only, we're only doing our we can't reach Copenhagen yet, can we? We cannot. We can only reach a Gaidica. Can we reach Copenhagen if we build a harbor? We had, we'd have to buy a harbor. Moss and Carney's already being sent one of these. Don't have a harbor here. So we can send trade to a Gaidica. Which could actually do with food. Okay. Bring these galleasses around. This caravan was going to a Gaidica. Does it need to do that anymore? A Gaidica's plus 14. Yeah, it would be good to send his production to Copenhagen. Let's see if we can find that natural wonder. Apparently not here. Carry on. But yeah, I was thinking autocracy. I like the idea of doing autocracy here. Just because we get we don't you don't often get the chance to do much in terms of I mean we could choose freedom on our empire again, and of course it would be an excellent choice. But I don't want to do it all the time. And we've discovered coal there. Okay. Well we've got a couple of turns to improve, it, and it's only three, sadly. Copenhagen's growing. We just want to keep it growing to production because we got plus 23 food. Circus Maximus has been finished here. So that... Oh, wait, because we annexed Copenhagen. We don't have a Colosseum anymore. Brilliant. In that case, we should probably just go for the zoo and go for scientific theory. Put that down. Trading post. Mine up there in a guider car. It's a good tile now. It would be nice to work it, but we don't really have the spare specialists or the spare you, the spare spare citizens to work it. Our capital's doing fine anyway. So we'll have about, hopefully about four, about three or four turns of building factories before we get in to doing public schools. It's a bit of bad timing, but it can't really be helped if we're pushing for an ideology super fast. 
There's all her scrying again. We actually do want to work just this tile, which means that I've got a worker that should be doing something better. This one's just finished doing a lumber mill over here. That wasn't even production to Copenhagen there. Stable done, forge next. Keep ramping up production. We want to keep working the iron tile, iron tile pretty consistently now. Ew. Freedom will be so nice with this trashy canal city that we've got. And this can go in Bogota. Am I tempted just to spend this money on Bogota? Where even are they? 65 behind. We could actually get there in Bogota now. And probably become happy. But we're now ally of Bogota. That's even more culture and we want that. I mean order could be good if we have high culture as well. Maybe. I'm not sure. Copenhagen's growing again. Perfect. Keep growing to production. It's giving us happiness now. We could buy a mosque there. More culture. We might as well do it and go for a Colosseum. Just so that we can build the Circus Maximus when we need it. Zoo is done. Did we finish a windmill? How long for this? Like three turns? A stable instead? Maybe we can finish a windmill here. Amphitheater is what we should build. Let's not get too, too ahead of ourselves. It should be an amphitheater. Oh, I need to get rid of these joke roads that we built at some point to save gold. Can't get through Hong Kong yet. They want to find that natural wonder to guarantee ourselves. Oh, we're not even allies with Bogota anymore. The Netherlands just got more. It's only that natural wonder to guarantee our allyship with them. That'd be why our happiness didn't jump up much. But the forge is down now and we should try and get a harbour. A bank would be so good. But a harbour. And an amphitheatre. Where we have the chance we should get amphitheatres. This Galias has nearly made it back around to our capital. We lost friendship with Hanoi. There appear to be election shenanigans going on in Hanoi. Moak grew. Nice. These tiles are so good. But we can't really afford to be working that gold. We actually have to be working real food right now. We can start on an opera house. Only a couple of turns here. Copenhagen's done with this Colosseum. Get a monument. Start on the opera house here too. Actually, we've only got two turns left on the Circus Maximus. Let's put another turn into that. And then the university is done here. The stable's not really worth a lot. Amphitheatre. Make sure that's not the city that's lagging. Vancouver, Hello. Let's delete this road because it's a bit pointless there. Now this is a good civil service farm tile with food and production. Looks like a guy that is working all of the tiles it's ever going to have now apart from this one hill over there. It's not a very good city but we did need it for a canal. Will England trade open borders yet? I'm guessing not. Copenhagen to have more you can I guess grow to some golden food something like that oh five plus says the Netherlands ally logo on city states always trips me out into thinking you can tribute it's very true actually it's kind of close to the tribute button the glowing orange of being able to tribute and free thought turn 122 not bad at all and we still need a cargo ship
let's just put a turn into this cargo because we do need it. Although, we probably can't reach. Quite harbour would have been quite handy. Did we build one here? Oh, we did build a harbour now. I mean, we've got available trade routes from... Available from... Moss and Carney. Uh, need to just check internal food, probably. Yeah, so we got two from Copenhagen to a Copenhagen to a Gaidica and Moss and Carney to Copenhagen. The ten foods. So we need to get a harbour somewhere else. How about we build a harbour in Copenhagen? I oh, know because some of these cities aren't going to be building factories. All right, factory here. Factory here. Factory here. And then we can go monument into aqueduct. See if we can find this natural wonder. Still no. It should be somewhere. Can't just not be here. Reading postile over there. sell some iron to the song high kind of need some flat gold right now so will you give us a load or for 148 oh no apparently so good we could actually even buy bogger to back if we wanted it nearly i guess on the next rigging cycle it's ours hopefully but we've been able to use this world's fair winning to make sure we don't need it golden age ended We've grown to some coal. I knew there was something I wanted to do with coal. I've been forgetting it for ages, but there it is. I'm supposed to have a worker there for it. Well, we'll go out and get it, and then the other cities can go do stuff. Going to have to work a university slot. School's next turn. We haven't found that natural wonder. Or has this production? Might be a bit... Rubbish without this hill. Looks like there's nothing else to improve in Copenhagen. That tile is too good to pass up. And this cargo ship. Does Car Copenhagen need to grow or does it need production? Probably just needs to grow. Another capital after all. And we want to buy this tile so that we can put a mine on it so that it's a Gaidica's to work. It's probably better for a Gaidica to be doing that than working in university. So let's just give up on the idea of generating great people from that city. Maya has salt. We can trade that for gems. Good. Happiness. We should have looked down here as well, actually. We've got a good population, though. It's turn 123. We're at 82 pop. On five cities, I'd be looking for 95 on turn 160. And so it looks like we actually might get to 95, close to turn 140, which is when you know you're having an excellent game. Yeah, Copenhagen's going to be nice now. Public school, perfect. How long until the next... It's 19 turns until the next Golden Age. And we've already got good enough production as it is, so I'm really tempted to just... Not... Waste the great artist. Grab astronomy. Still didn't find the natural wonder. And we actually need fishing boats. In a guide occur. That's what it needs. Instead of doing a public school, we do a couple of fishing boats. It would be good to shave a turn off this ideology into Mark. 19 turns is quite a ways away for a golden age. Quite the iron for sure. Oh, we can get an observatory in Copenhagen. Wow. That feels like a good idea. We should get a circus first. Because we don't really have any more happiness coming. I 
can find the natural wonder. We should send this Galias out from Moss and Carney to check it out. Fishing boat number one. Gives us gold too. So we're, we're really close to both Samarkand and Bogota in terms of allyship, but we don't have allies with any. Oh, her screw. It's almost not worth growing all her much more now. It is pop 20. We'll let it do its thing, but we don't need to concentrate much on food anymore. Stay there just in case we need to board a growing Copenhagen. And fishing boat number two right there. Perfect. Now on to the public school. Good tiles here. They're only workable within the capital's range. Almost worth working the gold. We're about to generate all three cultural great people on one turn. Liberty is so good. Oh, I saved the pyramids anyway. Imagine if that... Natural wonder we were looking for is like right off our coast here. I'll bet that is what where it exactly it is. Oh, we should have popped our great writers at some point. Oh well. We got a load now. Copenhagen. Nick grew. I mean we don't really need food anymore, so we just need to push production. Mark grew. It still needs to grow, sadly. Work the coal. We're going to want to work this coal, whatever it becomes. So let's just work it. Observatory and then a public school in Copenhagen. Big Ben is available. We should build Big Ben somewhere. Trading post. In case we need the gold later, which we probably will. Oh, I wanted to go for a trading post there and a guided car. Let's just see if we can see in, in Quebec City, just in case the natural wonder we're looking for is there. Any ideologies chosen yet? Not yet. We've angered a few city-states, apparently. And we can take gold from rationalism. I'm definitely feeling autocracy right now. If only because we have the opportunity to get Big Ben. And I'm kind of feeling like we, we will be getting to mercantilism. Factory into public school and then we want to concentrate on gold. Push towards flight for Prora if we're going for autocracy. Let's not lose it and we can get the happiness bonus from it as soon as possible. When does this World's Fair bonus run out? Six turns. We should be in. I want to use it once we're into ideology because it's a bit too soon to be doing, to be finishing rationalism. We won't really get anything good from it. So instead, probably better for us to, as soon as we're into autocracy, blitz these writers. So that we can make our way through autocracy as fast as possible. Factory done into observatory and then public school. Probably public school for the specialists and then the observatory. We're, be we're being stuck in there with that pathfinder. It needs to be deleted next turn. Copenhagen needs somewhere to grow to. You can start working specialists soon. Wait near Hanoi. Hopefully no AI takes the ideology we want within the next couple of turns. And I'm not sure it's a problem if the AI goes autocracy. In fact, it's not bad if the AI goes autocracy at all, because at least we've got a friend. Problem is, is that we'll lose the social policy. We want six policies, really, in autocracy if we get the chance. Because we want to go all the way up to the level 310 effort closer, which is legacy. There's a hill up there that can be improved. We've just done a trading post. Probably want a trading post up around our capital. 
We need open borders with the Dutch. There's no way to make this work, apparently. So we'll just delete this. So much for the natural wonder. We tried. But it was not to be. It might be in the ocean anyway. At which point we should probably build a caravel. Ideology adopted. English order. That's fine, because England hates us anyway. So we can choose autocracy. And we can go and we can get gold cost of purchasing units if we're going for mercantilism. And then happiness from every natural wonder is quite nice. So at least give us a bit of a happiness buffer until we get that barracks policy. Start trading posting anywhere we can. Copenhagen's going to grow again. It actually doesn't have enough tiles. It's kind of strange, but we can go into the university slot. But we want production there first. Austin Carney's about to grow. I don't really want to work any factory slots. In production's fine. Although it's already as big as it needs to be. No to the research agreement with the Songhai. We really should have all of these as cargo ships, the trade routes that we've got. Oh, we're building an opera house out here. Public school, please. Moss and Carney, good. Quite slow growth now, that's because we're unhappy. On to build Big Ben. Let's have it. And we do have an ideology. So we can burn some of these writers now. Take some policies in autocracy. We'll take the barracks happiness one. And then we'll just build a barracks, I guess, for happies. And then we'll do the same in Aarhus. We'll build a barracks for happies before going for the observatory. Embargo. We want to embargo the Maya because they're stronger. And once we get Prora, we'll be more than happy as well, because Prora gives us happiness for social policies. Rating post, yeah. We've got these great artists which we could do with using for something. Salt over there. Palenk would certainly have been a nice city. I don't... Don't take anything away from the Black Vegetable for desiring this thing at all, because it is an excellent city, and it looked very cap capturable. It might still have been, but it was just so... We probably could have tried to capture it, and I probably went a bit too soon in terms of saying no. But at the same time... It's white food here. At the same time, it certainly would have been hard to... We need an opera house and a factory there. We need a factory here. We can build that after the public school now that we're building it. It would have been hard. It's, it's hard to decline going after that for sure, but I don't really regret the way it went in the end because they had the red fort and we would have been producing the frigates from only Moss and Carney, which has its problems. No, you can't you can't just produce the entire army for a war from one city unless you're doing an early chariot rush which we weren't okay this is growing where where this point go there we want to work the university until we can do this apparently we got acquired both tiles one from each city which is nice. This city's about to grow. We've got a tile for it to grow to. And we've met Yerevan. They're very close to us. Man, the Maya would only have had one city producing coastal units. I don't know how it would have worked in terms of defending an assault coming in from land. We would have had to have swum our, navy, our land army over to capture it, I imagine. It's fine. We could have done that for sure. This city, I mean, it's pop 90. It will get to pop 20. I guess that's not, not work food when we could be working food. 
just trading post. Pretty sure I could be doing some of these workers a bit better. Anything that we're not working already, we're not going to work in the future, so we can just trading post it all. Oh, we, we finished a public school, so we should be working that slot. We actually can sell some more ivory. 177, let's just do that. Don't need open borders with the Maya anymore. We need happiness. It means we need to get allied, for, allied with Samarkand or Bogota already. Or her screw to send us unhappy. Okay, we need to work the public school slot. And in the cap, we also need to work the public school slot. Which kind of necessitates just giving up one of these tiles. Which is fine. We need to be building our barracks and armories for happiness. Going for flight for Prora. This was food to Moss and Carney. May that continue. This was where? This was food to Moss and Carney. We can. We don't really need to grow Moss and Carney anymore. Need to delete it for a cargo at some point. Although we probably should have just used it for the Samarkand quest. Let's just try and ally Samarkand. Can we do that? Songhai have got like no gold. I mean we can sell them one coal for 37. It's up to 501. Okay, well we're happy now. We've allied Samarkand. That was probably that was actually a terrible idea because we're autocracy. If we're going autocracy purchasing, we should not have done that. <laughs> oh well. 500 gold is not going to be the end of the world for autocracy purchasing. If that was going to matter, we should have done something totally different. Just wait there. Some deals that have ended. Built for ivory. Oh. Does he want anything else? Can't give him anything else. Open borders. Okay, apparently we're unhappy again. It's not great. Need to fix it. I don't really want to build an armory in the capital over Big Ben. But perhaps we should be building a barracks over this opera house. Are oh, we building enough happiness? We'll get there. Maybe we should try and coup Bogota. Success! Apparently we're already getting dies. Oh well. What's this cargo doing? That was food to a Gaidica. I guess that needs to continue because it's too small. We finished any opera houses yet? Nope. I don't want to sell the ivory for five. I want to trade it to you. But my gold per turn is just short of being able to buy that Lux. We can try and give away horses. Scott says, hello, governor. Welcome to the stream, Scott. Have you done your first workout session yet on the squat rack? Losing gold. I want to finish rationalism, but we can take another one of these. Don't need this happiness down here. We don't need any of this, so we can take elite forces for wounded units to do better. I take that quite a lot. I should probably try and switch up what it is that I actually take. And William seems to desire horses. We can't actually convince him to do this. One for two. Two for three. Two for two. Okay, well, we can do that. Can we try like five for five? What now? We can do that. And then perhaps will you do this? Heel good. No, that's way too expensive. Yeah, we're starting to see the anger now of some of the AIs, I guess, for conquering, which is exactly what's happened. It's really unavoidable if we are to conquer, which we did and we wanted to. I bet Scott said hello, governor, just to get me to say hello, governor. <laughs> Scott says, yes, my legs are dead today. Time for back, <laughs> lol. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fun of workouts. We need to be building opera houses in Copenhagen. Otherwise, we're going to be delaying our hermitage. We only need a couple more social policies, in fairness. 
Copenhagen just grew, which is perfect. But the food. Armory done here. So we can now go for Opera House. Wait there, I guess. I mean, we're doing loads of pointless stuff with these... There. Workers. That's, that, that's even out of range of the capital, isn't it? It is. GG. What else can we do? Nothing really to do here. Just keep growing a guy to cut and carrying on. We've got our allies at least. So we're up to 79 culture per turn. And we can do the hermitage whenever we want. Porcelain's still here, but we don't want to build it now. We've got too much of a backlog of things to do to build porcelain. We made Big Ben our choice. We have to stick with it. Into armories for happiness. I assume we're getting wrecked a bit by yeah, public opinion pressure. It's only nine. It's kind of a shame that we're being wrecked by public opinion pressure for nine. But we are. I've been holding off on these great artists because... The last Golden Age was really close. Before we went unhappy, but I'm pretty sure we were too greedy. And we are in for Prora. And that's going to help with happiness. And a social policy. We grew here. Now we can start working the slots because there's really nothing else to work. And we got a new spy. Hanoi would be the most annoying to have to war. So we should probably just put this spy in Palenque. I need to go too hard on the city-state spying. Well, we're in for flight now. Electricity. It's hard to avoid taking chemistry at this point. I wonder whether or not we should for maximal production. In fact, we should probably go for military science while we're here. Be good. Reading post. Finally built an opera house somewhere. So we can do something with the musicians. Tourism. And bring this back. Trading post. Anyway, AGS96. Does she seem to have a problem with gold per turn this game? Even with luxuries like ivories and furs. Any info why? Yeah. So, it is quite surprising how problematic... Ouch, happiness is poorer. Nice. Two happiness and one for every two policies adopted and a free social policy. So that's a load of happiness. It's a boatload. Military unit production. Yeah, so... Let me get some water first. Copenhagen's still growing very strongly. There's Prora done. We'll go for Armory just for happiness. Banks. Banks. We should actually push towards Hermitage. No Armory here yet. Food to Copenhagen, absolutely. So anyway, to do with the gold pattern problem, our open borders with the Netherlands now. Does he like us now all of a sudden? Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. Well, I'll bring, that'll bring the Golden Age down at least. So the thing about gold and gold per turn is that when you're playing on something like Deity Difficulty, you're growing your cities, things like this, it's surprising sometimes how basically where, where are we doing so well and we're building all of these buildings and we've got all of these workers, this military, and there's, there's, there's this citrus finally up there. She's the host. We're going to have to vote the Netherlands here. We need to get them as our mates. When you've got all of the buildings in the cities, the buildings all cost upkeep. And in general, if you've got the optimal numbers of workers and you're doing really well and managing to build lots of buildings because you're doing really well, even though we've got frighten frighteningly good population in that we've smashed our benchmark 20 turns early, 99 pop turn 143. And by the way, we need a cargo ship. 
well, our gold is struggling. And that's because there's only so much gold you can extract from your land. And there's a few reasons for it. First and foremost, we actually don't have banks anywhere. Banks generate a lot of gold if you build them in cities that have a lot of base gold to begin with, like our capital does. And, so, and ha as it happens, like Copenhagen does. So we got a lot of infrastructure. We don't really have any banks anywhere. Bumping up our GPT. And it's surprising if you don't build banks and you're not golden aging, typically speaking, your gold return is going to be pretty rubbish unless you've got Machu Picchu. So the things that usually actually give you good gold per turn in games of Civ, if you're doing well enough to be able to build a lot of buildings and units and things like that, Generally speaking, being able to get banks and stock exchanges built in your high gold cities. After that, it's Machu Picchu, basically, or religion. And if you don't have either of them, and we don't, your gold per turn is going to be like this. It's going to be pretty bad. So we need to solve it. And you would usually do that by rushing for things like banks. So outside of golden ages, your gold per turn tends to not be very good in a regular style game. Which is exactly what we run into here. Mayan order, which we knew was coming. We can build military academies now. And as we get these banks built, we'll see our gold per turn start ticking up. We need to build them in the capital. So we might as well just build this bank. We actually should just build an opera house. Which reminds me that we should just build one in here. Because that's the remaining opera house city for us. We can go bank first. We could pick up fertilizer, but we don't need it. We just went chemistry for the mines. Okay, what do we need? So we can probably now send Copenhagen to the capital. Yeah, Copenhagen. Oh, we got Copenhagen to a Gaidica, so we can't send Copenhagen to the capital yet. It'll be because we still need a harbour. And that's kind of a pain. So what, what do we... Wait, what have we got? So a, a Gaidica sending two. Mossenkarni sending two. Copenhagen is not sending any, so this needs to go from Copenhagen somewhere. But yeah, so typically there's actually a very small amount of things that make you have good gold per turn in the game of Civilization. And we don't have any of them right now because we don't have banks up in a high gold city and stock exchanges. We don't, we're not golden aging, although this this is why you save great artists to actually have gold per turn. But we don't have Machu Picchu, basically. And we don't have a religion, which is what gets you good gold per turn on a regular game. So yeah, there's a, actually a very defined reason why our gold per turn is quite bad. And you'll see if you watch a lot of my games, the gold per turn is very often looks exactly like this. And that's the reason why. But it's fine, because we'll, we'll fix it in a minute. As soon as we get that bank in the capital, it'll change. Picard is plotting against us, apparently. Copenhagen grew and Moss and Carney grew. Seems fine. And we'll preemptively start working a bit more gold now. Copenhagen needs to work some scientists. Yeah, we're not working a school slot in here. That was quite the oversight. But we're building military academies anyway. We are in fact prepping for war. So I guess we prepare for war. Which we are doing. And this cargo can be production to a Gaidica because it doesn't really need to grow anymore. There's trading post everywhere. So I wonder what kind of army Picard would be sending. He's at war with the Netherlands and the Songhai right now. So I don't think it's that serious, whatever is coming. We do still need production in Copenhagen. We don't need to grow the capital anymore, which is why we're not really worried about our capital size at this point. Just want this golden age to trigger so that we can trigger our artists. But yeah, Nizel says all Venice trades, and it's true. Venice's special ability gives you great gold per turn as well. You could also send all your cargo ships out for gold, but it's so much better to send those cargo ships internally that you shouldn't do it. Unless you desperately need it for war. We're up to 42 gold per turn now, not in a golden age. We've got an aluminium in Copenhagen of all places. 
So it's kind of worth it. I mean, we decided it was worth it anyway to take to take Copenhagen, but still, just click on plastics. I kind of wanted to artillery someone, but the sim just didn't really work out that way, and we could still actually artillery Elizabeth. Now that we have Samarkand as our ally. In fact, let's do that. We can probably roll into Coventry with some artilleries. Could be a good idea. The AIs are pretty behind. It's only the Maya that really matter now. Because we've nearly caught them in tech. In fact, we got loads of science all of a sudden. We got bucket loads of science. And we are trading posting everywhere so that we can make the most of the autocracy ability should we want to use it for gold purchasing. Which means we do want secularism. It's still two social policies and we don't really have any more coming. Until we start golden aging. And we can do a really long golden age starting from now. As soon as we get this golden age, the natural one, we can trigger three artists into golden ages. We have about 27 turns of Golden Age. Orhus needs to build the Stock Exchange. That needs to build a Hermitage. That will get us our social policies. Copenhagen grows. Got the food. That was a bit of a mistake not to have been ready for that. But it's okay. Factory's done here. A harbour would be nice, but we don't actually need it in this city. We should probably just go barracks and things. In fact, barracks is definitely the play, right? So that we can stay happy and also be ready to build military units. We've got three artists now. Okay. Valenturing here, that's nice. Let's just secure this city-state spot and build a road in its territory. I'm pretty sure we don't pay for roads in city-state territory, so it's quite nice to be doing that. It's two turns and we can burn these, these artists. And then, six turns after this writer's generated, we can burn the writer. And what that should do is it should get us the two remaining social policies that we need for mercantilism. And we can just buy an army. It should be pretty cool, which means we need to go stock exchange in Moss and Carney next. And we will. Barracks, Armory. Get a trading post in there. Start building roads through the city-state. So we're ready. Next turn, we can burn all the artists. And take mercantilism. And then we're going to have autocracy, gold discount, Big Ben and mercantilism for a massive discount to all of our gold purchasing. So we go, there's the writer. Needs to be held for a couple of turns. We will now burn all of our artists like this. And that's going to save us some gold per turn. We're up to 61. It's not that great yet. Stable. We'll build one of those now. But we are still missing a stock exchange in the capital. We should probably delete some military units like this trebuchet is not useful, not useful anymore. So 65, and we are now golden aging for the next 26 turns. But we could be working so much more gold. And I wonder if we should work more gold now. Stock exchange needed. Brandenburg would be good. We've already had quite a lot of generals. Perhaps we should look for some more gold. We should build a market here. It's generating 32.5. So this sounds very much like market territory. Or bank even, because we've already got one. Don't really want world religion Buddhism. Don't want scholars in residence for sure. So we're down vote scholars. And this writer needs to wait five more turns. We can keep building our road through Samarkand. 
then that should hopefully mean we can move units up into English territory. Is England at war with anyone? I don't think England are right now, actually. We should get them to war with someone. The Maya would be perfect. 34 pop chichinits here. And these guys already have artillery. Infantry, I think. I feel like I just saw one. I mean, they can't because they don't have plastics. So it must be great war infantry that they've got. And it is because at least one person has that tech now. I uh, never improved that civil service farm tile. We'll do that now. Okay, more roads through city-state territory. There's this stock exchange. Don't need to do anything else anymore. We should we could build Brandenburg here in Aarhus. There's no reason to build it in the capital, specifically. So we can do maybe an eight-turn Brandenburg. Armory goes to a military academy. And then we'll be ready to... We can buy all of our military units, I guess, in Aarhus. Because we've got everything else we need. And that means we should just be able to purchase an army of bombers when we have oil online. We can take mercenary army in commerce. We've got the Hermitage, so we're up to 134 culture per turn now. We shaped the turn off Brandenburg, that's nice. Stock exchange coming soon. Maybe once we build the stock, once we've grown to 28, we can just stagnate Moss and Carney. There's no reason for it to continue growing at all, really. Copenhagen got to pop 20. We're now up to 106 population, so we're 11 population over our benchmark, which means we really should have stagnated a lot sooner. Turn 158 research labs, though, is pretty slow. That's reflective of the fact that two of our cities of the core were very late to getting public schools and factories up. Stock exchange would be really good for our GPT. Over there. But we should be stagnating every I mean, actually, we should just be stagnating everything. Plus 5.75 here is kind of pointless. Let's stagnate what we can. We can't really do a lot of it. Yeah, we can't do much at all. But what we, we do, we've done what we can. This seems fine. So like that into Moak. Then in Aarhus. I mean, it's, Aarhus is already stagnating. Pretty much, apart from not working this mine. We can give up a faith for that. No, it's minus three starve, so we actually can't do that. Okay, well, Aarhus is fine there now. Also, Carney can grow, as we spoke about. And Copenhagen might as well grow one more population point. Although we do need to get a worker over there. Anyway, stock exchange in the capital. That's going to take us up from what gold per turn are we on now. So we're on 93. Might need to attack Palenque at some point. Ah, uh, here's the military academy done. We could just go for a harbour. Don't really need the East India Company. Copenhagen is about to grow. Can work the factory slot. I guess we're going to never generate this engineer, so that's okay. We can keep building roads through the city-state territory. I guess. Makes a lot of sense to do that. But anyway, so I told you to join the stream today. Says, hey, welcome, told you to. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. First time on the stream. No, oh, welcome. Do you always choose the same map size? I never see you specify it. I usually go between standard map size and small map size. Depending on the feeling, really, with the game. No specific reason for it. Still waiting for the social policy. Yes, yeah, so I usually just flip between the two as I desire. We're up to 109 gold per turn now. No real reason for it. It's just that um, 
you you get longer games the the bigger the map is and so particularly when you want to try something like domination victory or diplomatic victory it can be quite a pain so i tend to go for the standard map sizes on the bigger ones as well i mean on bigger map sizes you can do a lot more liberty i guess there's a plus one for me doing it actually i should probably do more netherlands freedom that's hurting our happiness quite a lot hydro plant would be quite powerful here not like we're going to get many stealth bombers out of this military academy in the capital a hydro plant would be really powerful here too oh told you says right it makes sense cheers no worries no worries welcome to the stream when is the cap going to grow two turns we can actually grow it in one turn And this was going to Copenhagen for food, make it production. It's about that time when we need to start stagnating everything over for max food and production. This is inside city-state territory, we'll just build a road there. No need to do a lot else apart from trading posting this. What have we got in terms of trade routes running? So we've still got Mosenkani, Copenhagen and the Gaidika. All being sent 11 food. We don't have that much room to stagnate in the capital. Which is probably why a hydro plant makes sense to build. We've got another great person born. It's perfect. What do we do now? Market. Stable. Stable. Any production that we can get out of that city is probably worth it. Lumber mill. Trading post. It's been a while since I did a beautiful trading post spam. Here it is. This is the best we can do in here. I mean, we could work this trading post science up like that. Another scientist. So we got about five saved up now. We're not going to be able to start building research labs straight away in a lot of our cities. Which is a shame. Awkward timing. They should. We should have really had them up by now. We got 711 science though. We've got flight, military science and chemistry that we didn't need to have. Or labs, so I guess that's okay. And we can just go research lab in anywhere that's done building things. And then we'll just go research lab behind the wonders that we're building. And behind this hydro plant, because it'll be worth it. Same with this one. I don't really like what we're doing right now, which is sacrificing some of the aluminium we have that we would be using to build stealth bombers. But I feel like that's okay. It's only, it was only three. We would have to get away more from other cities anyway. England has denounced the Netherlands. That's good. Bogota doesn't really have any aluminium. We'd have to find aluminium from someone. We have finished Brandenburg though. That general is going to be useful because it will allow us to get oil online straight away. As opposed to having to wait all of the time to improve it. We'll keep building roads through Samarkand. We need to work this now into Moak. We've got a spare food. It sucks to be giving up one of the future hydro plant tiles. But that is science over there. Barely any trading posts left to spam. Apart from there. So I guess we'll go there. Mill, trading post. So there's another tile to grow to here. Oh, we, we grew the capital. We weren't supposed to grow it anymore. I mean, this is barely it, actually. There's really not a lot else that we can do apart from taking away perhaps this fish. There's not a lot else we can do about it. It's one of the main problems with autocracy. Is you would like to you would like to work a lot more gold, but if you want to keep working your production from your river tiles like this, you can't switch around as much as you think. We're up to 140 gold per turn now. 134 and we can even flip over some cargo some food trade routes for cargo ships for money we're at that point in the game where growth doesn't really matter anymore so we're quite happy to do that probably should have burned some scientists to get to labs but oh well 
Still got 16 turns of Golden Age, and we're building research labs everywhere. And we can just straight away buy our whole military in Aarhus. Because we do have a military academy and the Brandenburg Gate. Which doesn't really stack to anything particularly overpowered. But it does get us a lot closer to the next promotion after air repair. Because we're going to get immediate air repair because we're autocracy. Still well worth oftentimes building the Brandenburg Gate is autocracy. Because you do get things like immediate oil online which can be very helpful. But we're doing the best we can to stagnate everything now. And I don't know when we became friends with Yerevan, but it's fine by me. We can burn this writer. There's no need to hold on to it anymore. Take mercantilism so that we're ready to start purchasing our military. Don't want to trade my ivory for coal with you. And we're going to have this good gold per turn for a little while. I'm guessing we're buying a stack of planes. Because there's no reason not to buy a stack of planes at this point. Zaskia want horses. Zaskia does want horses. I guess we're buying a stack of planes. Oh, AGS96 says, Do you stream set days or just a few a week whenever you can? I do now stream set days. Apologies if you didn't find any set days recently because I have a very busy July for personal commitments and things like that. So I've had to keep adjusting the schedule quite a lot. But I do have a schedule. You can find it on Twitch's schedule section. But there's also a countdown timer for the next stream in the about section as well. If you go down, there's a Streamlabs countdown that you can find that goes on to the next stream. Streams are, and it seems I'm struggling to find my own stream schedule on Steam right now. There's a link for it actually in the about section. I, I keep this up to date wherever I possibly can. Let me just pop it in the chat, AGS. Hold on, my um, Streamlabs is just... Frozen one minute. There we go. So there, there's the link. You can use that to find the schedule. I do keep that updated. And then let me just fix it so I don't wreck my bandwidth again. Anyway, Lizards of the West joins the stream today. Says hi, hi, hi. Welcome to the stream, Lizards of the West. I gave you an extra hi there. My bad. Misrepresented you. It's okay. What can we do with this? We don't need to grow in here. We've got this tile that we want to grow to. I mean, this is probably good enough, but we can maybe just trading post a couple of these. And we're going to keep putting roads inside the city-state for fun. Don't want to upgrade this. It's better to just buy our, buy our military. I think we don't even need these galleasses anymore. Let's delete them. Not going to be upgrading them to frigates. Just want the gold and save the gold per turn. Anyway, Soldier says, I've gotten quite a bit better recently from watching your videos and other videos. Oh, nice. I'm glad you are better. Should I start increasing difficulty from Prince upwards slowly or jump right to Deity? Definitely go upwards from Prince slowly. Which one's... We're actually on oil here, so we can just oil well this. And where's this oil? It's right here. I mean, it would be an absolute waste to put our general down on that. So let's just find ourselves a worker to go get that online. Any more oil we're going to grow too soon? Or did we only get one node in the capital? This, that oil up there, we could general out. So we'll send that up. But yeah, so I recommend turning the difficulty up a little bit a little bit more slowly, just because you will have to get used to some of the nuances of each of the difficulty levels. Work like the research lab. We're gonna grow, that's fine. We'll go straight on to this mine. And then Copenhagen's done with the lab. It's built everything. It needs actually to go all the way to military academy. So let's do that. And then we can go straight to battleships. We need to spam frigates for those. And we're not ready for that. We can maybe go to like tanks and real bombers or something instead. Although we could actually spam a military right now if we wanted to. From this city. Once we get oil in line. Great war bombers cost us 290 gold. Because we're autocracy. We can nearly afford. I mean we can afford six of them guaranteed. Um, but yeah, so you just do it one at a time just because you'll want to get used used to the difficulty ramping up. There's no need to play any more than one game at each difficulty level. Just kind of push it up one and see if you win easy. And if you felt like you won easily, up the difficulty again. And that's the way I would suggest progressing it. If you find that you had a bit of a struggle, stick around for one more game and then push it forward after that. 
Anyway, Nizef joins the stream today, says hi there, welcome to the stream Nizef. Says just tuned in, Aarhus and Copenhagen are not typical Shoshone names. He tried to bully you. We actually bullied Denmark. We, just for the fun of it, I decided I wanted to do this before the stream began. We went two city chariots into Denmark. So we found in Mosinkarni, we put Tamark down as a second city. We went two city chariots, captured Aarhus, and raised down Denmark City here. That's why we've got city ruins. Unfortunately, Denmark went up to 30 city combat strength while we were still in the era of chariots. And this city had jungle, ju jungle, jungle, forest, which meant that it was just too difficult to get vision on the city to take. But we'd left Denmark with one city, so we came back at crossbows and trebuchets and finished him off. And that is why we currently have five cities. We settled Agaidika as a canal city after National College. So after we'd National College on this core three. So that we could get Galeasses around to help take out Copenhagen. So we actually bullied Denmark. We stole about... F we stole three or four of his workers. Two settlers into workers. We, we only built one worker ourselves. And the other six were stolen from Denmark. So yeah. <laughs> so the game's going alright actually. Anyway... Soldier asks, also, is there a way to increase multiplayer AI difficulty? Because that would be a fun challenge for me and friends to take on Deity AI. Absolutely, you can. So when you start a multiplayer lobby, you can go to... When you're on the main menu, you can go to multiplayer and you can just set up a standard multiplayer game. And you can add an AI into the player slots. And then you can change the AI. And then on your own difficulty, you can set to whichever difficulty you want. And I would advise each of you individually setting your difficulty level to the same difficulty level. And that way, yeah, you and your friends can play against Dirty AI. Nizza says, good. Harold is a nasty neighbor when you give him a little time. Yeah, I think so. It was quite fortunate that we went after him. He never even got his berserkers. That was kind of how behind Harold ended up in the end. So that worked out really quite well for us. We need to give up something. Look, we just can't afford to... We can't give up the horses. We cannot give up this wheat. We have to give up our trading post and go for a research lab. Fortunately, science buildings give us science. We're done growing now. Pargo, but not a Comanche rider. A Comanche rider would be cool. Let's build some Comanche riders. We've got this. We're done growing here now. But that's fine. When the cargo runs out, that will go down to zero. And in here, we can work. We need to work the lab slot somehow. We've got to give up this trading post, sadly. We are done growing here, so we can just do this. We must have got some extra food from fertilizer. That's why it's not starving. A guider can work the research lab instead of the factory. And it can continue growing just because it is. So the lab is done. We could hydro plant here. That would use up the last of our aluminium. I would rather just spam military. Like infantries. Or Comanche riders. They upgrade into tanks. We're going to be a bit short on oil. At least at the start. But we'll get a ton of oil from England if we conquer England first. Heroic Epic could be good. All newly trained non-air units get morale. I don't really want to dither though. We should just spam army. If we're going to do army, we should spam army. We, we're not really going to need navy, are we? I mean, some navy... I mean, Palenque's 123. We, would, we could probably do with having a submarine. <laughs> but apart from that, there seems no need to have a navy. We'll go railroad into radar. Our labs are just finished, so turn 170, we should just bulb everything. What do we do here? We just build a market. Yes. Oh, we can build a Comanche rider while we're waiting. Barracks done. Armory. This is quite a late attack, actually. This post labs timing has gotten a bit late, so we do want to be spamming military from here on out. This is coming for the oil, is it? Yeah, good. Okay. And the oil here is nearly done. As soon as that's online, we'll go to. We'll go buy our Great War Bombers and go to war. But yeah, I'm actually really pleased we killed Harold. Anyway, AGS says, so so what's what's so good about the Musicians Guild slots? I see you always work both. Um, just this game, I'm working both. And it's because we are really short of culture. So we, are st we still need two more social policies to complete what we want for this game. We want the Rationalism Finisher and we want this level 3 tenet of Clawser Witch's Legacy and Autocracy, if possible. Can we friend these dudes yet? No. So I'm still working the Musicians Guild. I often don't actually build a Musicians Guild as it happens. 
it's not something I regularly build or work, but we were doing it this game because our, because we were unable to secure a cultural city-state ally until very late. I was working the Musician's Guild to make up for the fact that we didn't have that because culture was desperate. In the end, we... Oh, we've been declared war on by England and the Maya. Okay. Well, those planes can't come a moment too soon, I guess. Maybe we should build a, buy a stack of real bombers. Trade routes plundered, huh? Just one more turn before we get the oil. I guess we'll wait. And we'll chill for a moment, although these units are annoying. England's got units up there. We've got this trebuchet. So we're going to get all of our cargoes plundered, which is rather unfortunate. We'll be able to defend ourselves in just a couple of turns. We need a military academy here. Although, frigate for defense would go quite a long way. And here we'll get a one-turn Comanche rider. In here we do still need a military academy. We might have to buy a submarine. Which is, there's no problem in building a submarine at all. We just might have to get one. <laughs> if we want to hold on to our city, we'll have to give up this trading post for the research lab. That's fine. And we'll, in we'll try and vote for Embargo the Maya. What's this crossbow doing? It's got to wait. That's fine. Okay. We're ready. But yeah, the Musician's Guild thing was just... Where's this going? This is Moss and Carney. I mean, we, we're going to have to hold on to this because otherwise it will get pillaged. There's no two ways about it. Can we get a frigate and a guider, a guider car? Three turns. We'll build one after the Comanche Rider now. And this cargo can wait. At least we saved a couple of cargo ships. It's good. I wasn't planning to be at war with the Maya so soon. Maybe we can get the Netherlands to war them someone. They won't do that. Okay. And next turn we can buy our stack of bombers. We won't lose anything for a couple of turns. We just need to get this on the oil as well. And we're going to have quite a lot of oil online soon. The question is going to be where we need the bombers. Oh, Kenny says, hello, how are you? Maybe save that great scientist from Hanoi. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah, it's just chilling there, isn't it? I'm just getting so... Well... Well, okay, what do we got here on these Comanche Riders? Full Moon Striker, Pride of the Ancestors, Statue of Zeus. Okay, so we just take Shock, Shock, and Charge. Why not? We can actually get a Range Frigate. Oh, no, we can't because we haven't built a Military Academy in the cap. Got this shock shock and we can take charge again shock shock and charge but yes i'm doing good thanks kenny how are you he says filthy hanoi <laughs> lol <laughs> yeah we should save these great scientists make sure they don't get smacked by anything i didn't lose a scientist to die that would have been kind of bad i mean it doesn't really matter it's not going to be make too much of a difference i hope comanche riders frigate comanche rider we could actually build a submarine. Much better than a frigate here. I mean, buying a couple of submarines would just end this nonsense. So let's just buy like once. Ah, oh, I've built it in the wrong place again. Wolfpack 2. And then we'll get this oil online. And we'll just buy a stack of bombers here. So that's six bombers we managed to purchase with Autocracy. We can take Bombardment and Air Repair on all of them. Just because we get the most XP from this city, so we'll be closest to getting the next level up, because we've got Brandenburg and a Military Academy there. Now we just need more gold. Get this General over there. Right, what do we do about Hanoi? Hanoi doesn't appear to be doing anything serious. So I guess we just wait. There's no need to cower in fear, I guess. You can maybe just push these up. Oh, we can even back up here. Nice. We can move this. I mean, this crossbows are pointless. We can just move them up. And we can make use of some of our Comanche riders. Which is cool. 
Oh, anyway, Nizef says about the difficulty levels up to Emperor is mostly about learning the game and getting comfortable. For Immortal, you already need to adjust your play style and even more so for Deity. Yeah, I would kind of agree with that. Did we lose a great scientist? No, we still got five. Good. <laughs> that would have been bad. I wonder if we just use these Great War Bombers to take out these ships that are annoying us here. I mean, we'll have a submarine to do that now. So maybe we don't need to. We actually do need to use the bombers to take out these ships. Just to make sure a Gaidaker is saved. We can get rid of that. Like the ironclad. Could I guess go and purchase a submarine over there while we're waiting? By deleting a crossbow. Could win the city over to our side and we can take triple wolf pack. Move three bombers over because the city can't die in one turn of frigates and galleasses. Over here we can now build some more great war bombers I guess. We need to deal with this city state incursion. Looks like England backed off. General our oil. Now we have more. We'll get more, even more in a minute. A couple of turns before we bulb everything. Wait with Alan Turing. I keep Alan Turing safe. Let's delete these crossbowmen. We don't even need them now. England's not coming anywhere. Apart from shooting that knight. Need to figure out what we're gonna, how we're gonna kill England at some point. I mean, we can just run some units in there, but we will. Pro I mean, maybe we'll build some artilleries or something. We're getting dynamite next turn. We can run them over and capture Coventry. Is the bombers are kind of out of range, and we've already built this road through Samarkand. We lost our frigate. That's fine. think these meme clads wolf pack we can go back to get a military academy in the capital now that any danger is over we aren't even doing the international games oh submarines can't shoot from inside their own city that's unfortunate well okay we're gonna have to use the bombers we build a couple of artillery guns. Why not? And these Great War Bombers that are in Aarhus can rebase to Tamoak. So that we can do some damage. These three can just end whatever's left here, actually. We can get this submarine out into international waters. Not too many workers, Banana Fort. Let's take that. Star archaeologist now. We've got two submarines ready for them battleships. We could... Maybe we'll bomb some of Hanoi's stuff for experience. Feels like it might actually be a good idea. We could maybe just run around inside English territory and pillage with these Comanche riders. Kenny says, do the world a favour and raise Newcastle. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I'll have to get myself some units to go and do it, but it probably would be doing the world quite a large favour. There's these ships of the line have just shown up. That's fine because we've got a submarine, so they are no longer a problem. We lost our archaeologist. Oh no! Right. <laughs> what do we do? We probably just sink the battleship. Not the musician. Feels like these airplanes actually need to be in Moss and Carney next turn. So we can sink more. We just killed these pikemen. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, we've killed the pikemen now. I guess we can have a good pillage up in Hanoi. I'm not sure what we're doing with that there. That can move back. I really don't want to get these scientists shot. Let's move them away. I'm just going to automate all these workers. nothing useful for it to do good 
buy another submarine by deleting another crossbowman. I think our crossbowmen's are all gone, actually. We can't do that. I'm sure we could delete a building like the Opera House for one. Might be handy. Or another bomber would be better. Delete this Opera House. Wherever we can delete an Opera House. Apparently I can't delete Opera Houses. Okay, we're not deleting any Opera Houses. The Songhai actually will be quite useful. They're not friends with us anymore. And they don't want to be. Okay, that's fine, we'll wait till next turn. We're not going to lose the capital. Although I was worried about losing one of these submarines. Yeah, he did actually take a submarine. Wow. That's fine. We've got three Great War Bombers. We can get rid of the submarine. Get rid of any of these units that could take one. We can take double accuracy. I guess volley. We've got one of these annoying ships of the line that's just shown up. And then volley. So where can we position one of these artillery guns? Get another couple. Finished a Great Wall Bomber here. Let's have another one. On one more sub before we go anywhere. Another artillery there. Another air repair Great Wall Bomber over there. I'm being attacked by England now over here. Need to sink the privateers to make sure that we can't get our units stolen and kill that so that hopefully we've got a chance of keeping our trade routes alive. It's time to bulb. So we'll have radar next turn. Oh. Oh, we can't even kill that swordsman. Not being daft about everything. We can go and have a good pillage up in the city state. Right there. Wait right there. It's a shame we lost a sub over here. They're much, they're very useful at dealing with them. Those battleships. A guide is actually nearly lost here. It's quite bad. I don't really notice it getting so low. I guess it's all these ships of the line. I think the privateer. Go and sink these with bombers. Yes, we should buy some walls here. Make sure that it's got enough health to survive the turn. <laughs> Grab volley. So set up and shoot. That's that dead. Move over there inside the city state. More stuff to kill. I want to get rid of this battleship. We can sink another ship of the line. Military Academy is done. We do need another submarine, it seems. All the bombers we have haven't really proved to be enough. Finish radar. Satellites would reveal the world. Well, rock we need rocketry next. We can go to robotics before going towards stealth. Now we can do some pillaging. Nice, that's more gold. Might actually be able to get something good here. With all the pillage. 158. Nearly enough for another something. Need a worker. Yeah, some gold. What else have we got? We're not losing a guider kick because there doesn't seem to be a capture unit there. Need to get our stuff upgraded to real bombers at some point. Which is where the pillage would be quite handy. One more work. Oh, we, we need to be building railroads. And all these workers are off doing all sorts of random stuff. I just deleted one. We're actually only down to five workers. 
It's pretty bad for railroads. We should be doing better with it. There's a mine privateer. That needs to die. Let's bombard this first. Get it out of the way. And we can bring this sub back and sink the privateer that's behind. Because this one's in danger of dying. Sink that. Oh, we nearly were able to sink this ship. Can actually upgrade to rocket artilleries, apparently. Could be interesting. Lost a Comanche rider. Seems okay. Alright, this seems to be the end of that. Cool. Now, how do we push into England? Need to wait there with the artilleries. The DPN says, hey PC, welcome to the stream, the DPN. Artillery. Don't know that we want to build anymore. Probably just worth building. I mean, cargo ships would be nice. Alternatively, what can we do? Our troopers. We need to get all of our bombers upgraded. Two more great scientists. So we're up for finishing computers. Railroad. Railroad. And we're still building this banana fort over here. I don't know what happened to the rest of these workers. Alright, let's get some scouting done in English territory. Three watts in there. Great war bombers. Looks like we need AA guns. It's this oil. Wow, six now. What's in there? Is it six Great War bombers? Computer. We'll check. No, Great War bombers and triplanes. We can do a pillage and run off. We've just got that thing killed. Okay, well, we can get the air unit into Tamoak. We got these four as well. We will need a fighter. What do we do? We've still got a load of mess going on down here. It's unreal. Well, I think we're okay now. Finished a submarine. We do need some fighters. Where's that? Or maybe it's mobile. The mobile Sams could defend what we're doing. Get another mobile Sam. And uh, a bomber. Say one city. Necrosin says autocracy tenant and Big Ben. Yes. How are your units so cheap? Yeah. So Duke, Duke Camembert. Yes. That is the reason why my units are so cheap. Was the autocracy gold purchasing tenant. And we should do something with this spy now. Put it in Coventry. Oh, we got a new submarine. Help me explore the oceans. There's a privateer. This city-state is in the way of where we need our artillery units to be. We've got one bomber. I mean, we can move it to Tamark for now before we get the fighter that we want. I assume it's going to be a couple of turns before we can actually afford a fighter. Building those submarines is quite a setback, actually. I mean, so is building these artillery pieces, probably. We'll see what we can do with them. Mobile Sams are better. If we can piece anyone now and just go after... Whoa. It's not the time for negotiation and just go after one of them. Only not yet. We can go for... Also, which is Legacy. 25% attack bonus. Sounds good. Should be enough to finish the game off. I think we got to be enough. We got enough to do this now. Let's 
think a couple of ships upgrade one great war bomber or oh, we have the chance england is at war with us in our territory digging up our antiquity site <laughs> crazy Yeah, seems to be no fighter intercepts there. We can do some of that. Bombard that. Don't want to shoot the worker. That was ours. I mean, this is going to die either way, the artillery piece. I don't know why it was able to move two lots just then. Oh, Kilimanjaro. Nice. And just says, historically accurate England, am I right, lads? <laughs> I mean, I guess. England are doing their thing. can finally get that tile I wanted but the artillery can't really do anything without they can't really do anything without having that mobile SAM support when they do have the mobile SAM support they'll be pretty devastating ah uh, mine sub yeah we want to kill that Oh, I should have used this Comanche Rider to take back this worker. We do. Oh, we lost two artillery pieces. Yeah, definitely need the mobile SAM, it seems. We can take maybe double cover on the mobile SAM. We probably should have taken Medic. Well, let's move these pieces back because they don't need to be out here in the open. another submarine we do not need to build any more submarines it would be a waste to build more i think get a pillage off here nice we're actually still in the golden age and we can keep it going double shock on the paratrooper got that there we want to spam paratroopers and or bombers don't feel like we have enough bombers So we can do a few more. And we can take range on this Great War Bomber now and upgrade it to the real thing. Same here. Perfect. And then this final bomber. I guess it can go over to Tamoak. We actually should just build Oxford. And then we... Do we have any great scientists left? Seems like we use them all. Bomber. Okay. Oh, we actually can't can't even do many stealth bombers, which is a bit of a pain. So I wonder if that's it's actually not bombers at all. It's XCOM squads. A paratrooper. Mobile Sam into a paratrooper. Bomber into a paratrooper. Until we get more aluminium, it wants to be paratroopers because the para the paratroopers could take a city all by themselves. Oh, really? Okay. But the paratroopers can and will take one city all by themselves. So I don't think we have to worry about it. We need to get a spy into London. Now that we've secured our own coast, it would be nice to get our own. Cargo ships back again. We're kind of stuffed right now in Coventry because of the presence of those fighters. Oh, wow, we still got picked off there. Interesting. Bombarded by a triplane. Well, we can push some Sams in now. We've got a couple. AI is going to have a hard time dealing with mobile Sams, I'm guessing. Let's just chill. Got another bomber. I guess put it in Moss and Carney. Still here, these units. It's unreal. Get dead, please. Heal my submarine. Those submarines have had to put loads. Get rid of that archaeologist. That's done for. Oxford's now been founded. Well, we're building Oxford over here, mate. Finally got a wolf pack on this sub. Yeah, I wanted to find that privateer. Choose the host, which we certainly shouldn't be the William, so we'll make it Shoshone, which is ourselves. We 
can do some more railroading. Arhurst does have the railroad bonus, does it? Yeah, it does. Nice. Unfortunately, our empire's not got that great production. Don't know why I couldn't get out of there. Sorry, Hanoi. Should try to piece the Maya and keep the worker. So what happened? We lost the Comanche Rider. But we intercepted two Great War Bombers. So we're doing some work on them now. I just did lasers and we haven't got... We have got nanotechnology. Good. That was a total dirt for a second there. Or I thought I'd done something totally idiotic. Still more ships of the line coming. Oxford's done. XCOM. Could buy one, but I don't think that's necessary. We can get a whole bunch in a few turns. Now, I guess we just push the Sams in. And that lets us push a couple of artillery pieces in. Oh, I've got to wait till next turn. We've actually done a bad job of these because they're not covered by the mobile Sams anymore. We might just lose the artillery pieces one turn after getting them in place. It's kind of a noob move. We try and create general for something. Can we general for any aluminium? Not really. Just gems. Yeah, we can't general for anything useful. Let's just keep Johan Sercles there. We could slam Coventry with mobile Sams. What do we got with bombers here? Oh, nice. So there was a Mayan submarine over here, which we can now bomb. We can sink a couple of units. Probably should have bombed it with this stuff. We could actually bomb near Palenque over here. We could start bombing Coventry. Let's see what's in here, though. See triplane. I mean, the triplane's barely going to do anything to a bomber. That's going to make Coventry relatively quick work because it's already lost half its health. Let me bring this Comanche Rider up. Maybe we can use that to take the city. Looks like Coventry's ours on the next turn, and that's going to be our staging, staging point. England used their triplanes to attack. Really? Still units here. Okay, that's dead. Kill this. Stop spamming ships of the line. England. Are they gone now? I think they're finally gone. Range. Good. What's in here now? It's just a great war bomber. Infantry taking four hits off great war bombers. Seems a bit much. We've got these artillery pieces that can bombard the city. We actually could take it now, can we? We can. Give it a hit with a mobile Sam. Oh, we sat. <laughs> uh, oh, we can return the unit to Vancouver. We want to create a puppet here. Four unhappiness. Okay. Seems a bit much. We should probably raise it then. XCOM squad. Four unhappiness already with a six pop Coventry. Seems a bit much. I know why we're unhappy. We got massive on yeah, we got 36 from public opinion desire for a new ideology. Will William give us a luxury? Yeah, he did. Good. Well, we're happy again. We should probably have stopped growing a long time ago. It was tick. Stop growing everywhere. Nicholson says you need it for bombers for London. Yeah, yeah. With Coventry. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll base the bombers in there and then we should be able to then probably sell Coventry to the Songhai. Is what I'm thinking. We'll go and do our railroad now towards a Gaidika, which is finally going to be able to have a chance to heal. Just wait. XCOM. Let's just drop it right here so we can see what's going on. 
Not a lot going on in Palenque. We could probably kill that next. We will really kind of want stealth bombers for that. Kill the knight. Kill this Gatling gun. Oh, we can actually kill the Gatling gun. Okay. We do that. And then we can move some bombers over. And what have we got left with this one? We can actually shoot this still. It's got range, which is nice. Take some promotions on the paratroopers. We're taking cover because the biggest danger to our XCOM squads are being bombed. So we're taking all the cover promotions we can. We've now finally got control of our own waters. Paratrooper, XCOM squad. It's like we can go back to almost pressing automate on these workers. Need some more railroads done. We did lose our city-state of Bogota at some point. To the Netherlands. We're going to get them anyway. This needs to go to Palenque now because Palenque's our next target. Wait, well, where is it? Oh, I've already got something in Palenque. Okay. Well, in that case, our next target is probably going to be... I'd probably be Amsterdam. Let's just drop that in as a spy and we'll save our friend till last. So these mobile SAMs cause a massive problem to the AI, so we're just going to stand them here. Don't need this bomber there anymore. Rebase to Tomoak. Sink the meme clad. Move our artillery forwards. And we've got some XCOM squads that we can just jump in on London. We can use these to grab some gold. Which is quite nice. Have we got another one? I guess we don't. That's fine. The yeah, England may peace you now if you want. Kill that infantry, you could lose your bomber stack. It's not They're not going to be able to take Coventry with these two mobile Sams in the way. Not enough damage to be dealt. And also it's now zocked. Or was zocked. Paratrooper, double cover. Double cover. And we can just build another XCOM, because why not? We could probably just slam London down. We probably don't even have to worry about anything real. Just move these down. Let's bomb this into Coventry for some city defense, I guess. And then I think we've got a couple of XCOM squads we can just jump in. We do. No more this turn. It's fine. Wait. 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 Attack. Actually, some reasonable damage. What's in here? Triplanes and Great War Bombers. England's highly likely, highly likely to have just shot with the triplanes anyway. But we can start doing damage to London. We might be, might even be able to get it on the next turn if we can get one of these artillery pieces into range, which we can't. I mean, we might be able to get it on the next turn anyway. I want to sink this battleship. That's close. Oh, that's fine though. We can do it like that. Sink the ship of the line. Establish a bit more of a submarine perimeter. Gaidik is actually going to starve in a minute. We'll have to handle that when the time comes. And how much... We still only have one aluminium. We don't aim... We don't seem to get much from London either. But perhaps we can improve some aluminium with his great general. So let's bring it over. See what we can improve by having a look around. One of these AIs might sell it to us. William actually probably would. So maybe we can do some trades with William. Say 14 for 14. Okay. 5 for 5. What would you do? Quite a lot apparently. I guess he doesn't really value a lot. Okay. What would you do for 5 more? Can I do like one for one here? Like one, oh, it's okay, so it's going to be what? Maybe it's two for three? No, four. Okay. Well, I guess we can give away all eight gold per turn that we have left. Oh, no, maybe not. 
Apparently, we've got no gold per turn now. And our golden age is still running, which is a bit unfortunate. Well, what can we do here? Artillery gun can't really do a lot. Well, we'll just bomb through London. Actually could have done a promotion there. Great puppet. Ooh, mega unhappiness now. Another XCOM squad that will cover. We'll just block here. I actually should have probably pillaged that trade route, which we can. And then what? Got this. That'll take us towards the rationalism finisher. I'm quite disappointed that we're quite unhappy. And we can build some zoos. But it's quite disappointing. Because, oh, Kathmandu and a great general are match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where is, oh, Kathman, oh, Kathmandu's over there. Yeah, I should have known. And st instead, I moved my general over here, expecting to find some aluminium near England. I guess I can move the gen, where is this general? I can move it back to Kathmandu. That's quite good. Looks like we're good there now. Well, we can keep plodding the XCOMs around. These are Mayan units here. What's, it? What's happened to England? England probably has... England barely has anything left, I guess. Still have business to settle, apparently, which I think is a bit extreme. We're not going to get London retaken. We can just move some bombers there. Being quite cavalier with the bombers. actually just put these mobile sams in the way make sure that no retaking will happen let's push this up and see what's there pillage and move around doesn't seem to be any aluminium there we need to get rid of coventry though quite badly i guess we can build a round of zoos and we'll actually get Koka as a luxury from Kathmandu. Kenny says, on the border to London, maybe the hill is eight. Oh, you mean this one up here? There's three there. And then I don't really know anymore. Oh, there. Yeah, that is eight, actually. Well, that's not improved, so we'd have to be a, we'd have to drop it right on it. Yeah, south. Yeah, around here. I see what you're talking about. battleship trying to sneak through the back but it is not improved which does present us a small problem need to go there i guess oh, we just got that we might just got the artillery killed there's a submarine that's tried to sneak its way around to moss and carney i don't know why england still wants war oh that'd be why they still want war all of this stuff in the water wow Nearly sink that. Returns to stealth, which is fine. Golden Age ends. Take range on some of these. Just a bit painful without stealth bombers. But what can you do, I guess? You need to make sure we don't lose London. Bomb this, maybe. And then run into it. I didn't actually kill it well. That'll die next turn. What do we need here? I mean, we actually can't build any more happiness buildings apart from stadiums? Or Schwanstein? Well, I guess we're up to two happiness now. It means I can go back to building my bombers. Maybe an XCOM squad. An XCOM squad. An XCOM squad. We're going to be running short on XCOM squads. Yeah, this is normal amount of units for Deity Kenny. It is pretty damn excessive, but it is what happens. What do we... How do we pick all of these off? 
the ironclads can take out the cities. So we take that out, and then we've got two more bomber shots left here. It means we can take out the remaining ironclad. Oh, there's a privateer there. Glad I didn't miss that one, barely. Yeah, to back up here. Heal. Oh, England peace now? Apparently not. Heal that. We really want to get this XCOM squad. I and mean, we don't need to get the XCOM squad out. We could probably just like para jump Palenque and take it. I wonder. He won't negotiate peace. We don't have enough bombers there. What's all this? Why are you back? Aha, we got this submarine which can come over and help. And then we got this to come and continue walking over to Kathmandu. And what do we do with these units right now? I mean, we just stand still for a moment. Surely we should be able to get peace with England at some point. It might have just not been 10 turns. I mean, it surely has been 10 turns, but... Keep pillaging, keep moving around York, see if there's any aluminium here, which of course there isn't. Kill the Great General. Get ready to power jump Blank, I guess, when we get the chance. See if we do lose London. No, because we killed all the melee units. Perfect. William has declared war on Pacquiao. Oh, nice. Well, that's what we needed. Good declaration of war there. Can we make a recycling centre yet? Yeah, of course we can't. XCOM squads. We can just YOLO. I mean, we can actually just bomb Palenque instead of YOLO dropping XCOMs. Maybe. I'm going to kill the privateer. Wow, that nearly died. Okay. We got this. Can this fly all the way to London? It cannot. Well, we need to kill some more melee units to make sure we don't lose the city again. So I guess we do that. We do have to deal with the problem of these ships. I mean, we can let the carriers just chill and take out the ships of the line. I guess it's the bombers in York that are doing a lot. Although we can let them suicide themselves. Kill the Berber cavalry. Return the profit to the Netherlands. A historic moment, I agree. I mean, we can just run over everything here. It's kind of crazy. And then maybe we will get ready to just YOLO drop Palenque. We've got some XCOM squads. They'll do. Maybe even buy some, but we need to save for stealth bomber upgrades yet. See what's in here. Aluminium's here in Nottingham. And we're about to have to apologise to Kathmandu again. I think we can reach Palenque from Tamoak. There should be seven bombers we can project on the mine capital. England don't have any more melee ships. They sent them all stupidly over here. There's Cahokia. Didn't even know they existed. The cavalry hiding under here. Oh, tree's actually taking damage. We do not want to lose this. Lost vision on York. I mean, we can get vision back on York. Healing there is probably just the best choice. When did we get 13 unhappiness from? 43 for public opinion now? Oh my god. We really do need to get rid of Coventry. Oh, we'll give it away next turn. But now we just need to make sure not to lose any units here. I mean, this is the Empire is so unhappy, it's barely worth bombarding anything. England peace us? Apparently not. 
Oh, we can at least bomb this ship of the line. We can at least take a luxury. Add some aluminium. Perfect. Down to nine now. Heal. Heal. Sink that. Need to heal this. And where can this go? Just power jump back into our own territory here for a moment. Kill that engineer. Okay. Nekrasin asks, Golden Age went. Yeah, it did. We're now at minus 80. <laughs> for our efforts. Just to be expected, it happens. Golden Age is finally gone. We've got a load of military now. 10 bombers, 9 XCOMs, 5 subs. Some cities that don't really contribute. We can finally take the Rationalism finisher. Although that's timed up with when we got to stealth. So we'll use it to take satellites. So that we can see the world. We found Sraprada. Nice. Okay, we need to get these bombers out of Coventry. So Tomoak. Mosinkani. Can we even move to Mosinkani? Yeah, we can. Good. So I was thinking about that. I mean, we're seven unhappy, which is not good. Because we got all this public opinion for ideology. And perhaps we should switch ideology just to stop that from being a thing now. Don't know. Alternatively, we can now probably just YOLO jump Palenque. Because I bet we can reach 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, yeah, we can reach with stealth bombers from Moss and Carney. So we perhaps don't need to keep all these units in London for now. We can just move them back for safekeeping. Then we can turn some of these into stealth bombers as well. We can just build some stealth bombers too. XCOMs. Stealth Bomber, XCOM, get a bit of a balance going. And then, I mean, London appears to be held on to just by sitting here. As we've killed all of the Navy that can apparently take it back. I mean, if we need to take London back later, we will. But I think we've got enough XCOMs going around to give this a shot. Go, YOLO. We've got one more in Moss and Carney. They can go right there on the salt. I'll go bomber first as Necrosin before switching ideology. Yeah, I will do something like that. What's on this great war bomber on the boat? I'll do that, I mean, that's if we need to switch ideology. We're kind of okay as long as we get rid of Coventry, which I guess we can do now. Sell it to the Songhai, maybe. Will they be friends with us? Like, 20 gold per turn, 15, 10, 8, 7, 6. We need to offload some unhappiness. Okay, that's got us happy by giving away Coventry, which is good. And we should actually, I guess, take a quick look at the map. There's an English battleship that we can try and sink. So all of this Netherlands spam around the back is kind of crazy. We've got Maya stuffed in this little corner here with 42 pop Chichenitsa. The Songhai actually did okay in the end. And then England has just spread their empire all the way across the top for no known reason. And we got this little peninsula right out in the corner here, along with Denmark. Negrosin asks, what does YOLO mean? It means you only live once. It's uh, something that's typically said by, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure that, I'm not sure the best way to state YOLO. Oh, we, this, this is not where we want to be there. But it stands for you only live once. It just It's just the, the act of just running these things in without any bomber support, basically. We can actually trade for this citrus. I don't know why, because we own citrus, don't we? I guess we don't. It's like right here. 
we must have given it away some at some point by accident. Alright, it's got a triplane on it now. Another great scientist. English workers there to get bombarded. Good, so that dies. XCOMs. Uranium has been discovered over there. All of our cities are still starving. We've got to watch out for a Gaidica, but otherwise everything seems to be okay. Let's use these stealth bombers to attack in Palenque. I don't even really want to kill this great war bomber on the boat. I'd much rather attack the city. We can attack first with the stealth bombers because here's a nice little trick. Stealth bombers, they do get intercepted. They just take no damage from interception. So what we're doing is we are stealth bombering first and then we're going to... Can we, can we do any trades here with William? We can. Maybe like five. So we're stealth bombering first because that will actually eat through the opponent's intercepts. We've got just enough to upgrade everything to stealth bombers. So stealth bombing first eats through the enemy intercepts, which means that we can then... Let's just pillage this. We can then use our regular bombers without fear of getting wrecked. Now let's give this a couple of slams with the XCOM squads. Nice. Pretty decent hits. Advanced ballistics. Maybe we should just build a nuke. I mean, that was the, the nuke's a bit excessive, really. I'm just going to keep stepping on mine units while we're out here. We're in a triplane. Not a lot of problems there. Can we, can we bombard York with this? Yes, we can. Village and move around. Will England peace yet? Apparently not. We need to put a new spy somewhere though. And probably put it in Gal. Where is Gal? There it is. An atomic bomb would be nice, but we'd actually have to make one if we wanted to use one. Which isn't really what I like what I'd like to do. If we were going to use atomic bombs, I would much rather purchase one, but there we've got no hope of being able to buy one now. We lost Bogota. We have no longer lost Bogota. There we go. I wonder if the Mayans will the Mayans will peace us. It'd be quite nice if they would. The Mayan Maya will peace us. England will also peace us. Well, let's make sure we still got London. We do. So we can now peace England. I'm listening. England will actually give us stuff. That's good. We'd quite like to take this aluminium. And then can we take like 400 gold? Of course. 200 gold. 100 of course. gold. Okay. We've got peace with England. We pillage here. We can. Good. Pillage here too. Let's do it again where we do stealth bombers first. So that we eat through enemy intercepts. Although we don't actually have any regular bombers at this point. I guess it's a bit of a moot point. But you always want to go stealth bombers first anyway. And we can use our severely damaged XCOM squad to take the city. Great puppet. We've gone unhappy. But I guess we now own quite a lot of wonders. Yes, we now own 21 Wonders. We, we we have Notre Dame and the Kremlin. Got Temple of Artemis now leaning. Red Fort, Prora, Borobudur. Colossus, Oracle, Great Lighthouse, Stonehenge, Pyramids. We've got a lot of World Wonders. And we're actually unhappy. It's kind of crazy. We've got 500... I mean, apart from the fact that we're losing 102 gold per turn, we might have had the ability to... What's this? Oh, he's guarded. We might have had the ability to buy a nuke. How far to Amsterdam? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. Okay, from Palenque. And then Amsterdam is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 from London. Okay. It seems like a good idea of what we're going to do then. So we take out... Songhai first. He won't give us anything. Let's just set the peace. 
He apparently likes us. Can we be friends? Okay. Can I see your new sissy, please? Good. Well, I mean, what we want to do, I think, is just get all of our stealths in Palenk and London. Go stealth out Gal. And then we can turn around and stealth down the Netherlands capital last because they are the ones giving us quite a boatload of aluminium. And we have somehow not gained any aluminium from all of our AI killing. I mean, we gained three from Copenhagen, but we just had none anywhere near around here. We didn't even get any from Palenk. I guess we could... Wait, we can delete this artillery piece now. That's not needed. These mobile Sams are just protecting London. Don't anticipate being at war with any of those civs now for the rest of the game. Sleep everything until we're ready to war. Just need to wait one turn to move everything over. I would buy some scientists, but we don't need them. It'd be nice to, if we could find some happiness, but I don't see how we'd find any. Get more gold from commerce, but well, I mean, we're at minus 80 gold per turn. Really? We've gone through another level of unhappiness. We've now got minus 47 from public opinion. Build some zoos. Just buy a zoo. We've got anywhere that we can buy a zoo. Try and get us out of the pits of this unhappiness. Well, we're not ready to attack Gao yet because we can't see the city. We will just rebase all of our stealth bombers between London and Mosankani. That means then they're in the same position they need to be to attack the Netherlands right at the end of the game. And of course, we've already got one capital of Copenhagen because we dispatched of Denmark much earlier on. We could take maybe an extra social policy. Could maybe help. I mean, we're doing nothing with this faith. We might as well buy some great engineers and see if there's anything we can engineer down. For happiness. Of which there isn't. It happens. So I guess it's not really worth it. Yo, please. Uh, yeah, let's be friends. Netherlands. Stadium, says Necrosin. Yes, we could build stadiums. But by the time we build six turn stadiums, this game's going to be done. We've been denounced by England again. Been denounced by the Maya now. Okay. I mean, you warned me. I don't know why you're denouncing me, Mr. Maya. to propose. I'd quite like to go for world ideology autocracy, please. Oh, really? What are these? Barbarian Landschnecks. I mean, I don't want these things to be annoying. Fine, I'm going to stealth bomber a Landschnecked. That's totally not worth it, but they annoyed me. It annoyed me, a Barbarian Landschnecked of all things. We just want to spam XCOM squads now. The only thing you need now, once you've got up to about 12 stealth bombers, is just enough XCOM squads to be able to surround this, any city that you capture so it can't be recapped, which is what we've done. So we've got 15 XCOMs. That's enough to surround two cities each. Which means we're ready to finish this game off just as soon as we get a vision. And we will go for the Netherlands last because they are stronger. You do always want to pick on the... <laughs> The weakest AI first, if you get the chance. But let's just wait until we get our vision on Gal. Everyone went a different ideology. Minus 47 is hard to handle. We've even got a mercantile ally of Samarkand. One more scientist. That'll push us through nuclear fusion. Not a stealth bomber. Pop that in London. There's not going to be anything else that can reach Amsterdam unless it, they can go from a Gaidica. So just in case they can, we're going to drop this one into a Gaidica and then we'll wait and see. Just bulb that. XCOMs. XCOMs. They're all we need. We can now see Gal. Perfect. Can we hit Gal from Palenk? Yes, we can. Okay. Cool. I'm sure there's a way to cycle through my stealth bombers here. I just want to clear out everything that's next to the city so that we can do this 6 XCOM drop. 
So we'll do that. We'll do our best to try and fast click them before we get bugged out. I've tried various different methods of stopping this thing from switching your control back and forth between your XCOM squads and whatnot. But I've never really managed to succeed at doing it because I've turned off auto unit switching now. So I'd hoped that that would be the solution, but it clearly isn't. Yeah, now we can bomb Gal. Oh, we don't have enough range on this one. Whoops. Yeah, we've gone through all of these stealths. They all appear to be out of movement. This one can attack. Why is this not doing anything? A couple here that can attack as well. So much for auto unit cycling with my air unit hotkeys mod. That didn't work. It was so good that it wasn't Barbarian Atomic Bombs, yeah, I guess. If it's only Barbarian Lanch next, I guess I count myself quite lucky. And these XCOMs around Palenque, they're the ones that are going for the Netherlands. We can see, there's not even anything surrounding Amsterdam. Hopefully we can blitz it in two turns. We should be able to do it. Two sets of 12 Stealth Bomber attacks. Plus... Six XCOM slams should be enough to take the city down. He's just built XCOMs everywhere. Okay. So. That's Gal done. Just gonna kill some stuff now so that it can't be recaptured. What's this range here? These are oh, this. What's the range of these stealth bombers? Sadly, we can't even reach the Netherlands coast, but I guess they'll be good enough to defend ourselves. And it's nice to have a couple of stealth bomb buffer, I guess. We actually need to take Gao. Create a puppet. Yeah, minus 18 on happiness now. Cool. Oh, man. I wanted to get... Oh, there was, there was a caravan on here that I wanted to pillage, but because we got rid of the source city, it doesn't work now. Guess we should have built stadiums. It is fine. We'll work our way through Amsterdam. Next turn, we might get a couple of barbarian rebels spawn. Minus 18 on happiness. Pretty big combat penalty. We're only holding capitals as well. Didn't get any barbarians that turn, I don't think. We've got to hopefully not lose our own capital to a revolt or something. I don't really know how that works. But there seems to be nothing else we need to do apart from build stadiums. I'm just going to queue those up even though they really aren't going to be consequential to the end of the game. Oh, Bukatini just subscribed for three months. Bukatini, welcome to the stream today, and thank you very much for the generous sub. Three months sub, well. Welcome. Sadly, you've tuned in just as we're about to end. Just managing this minus 23 unhappiness where we're getting 52 from public opinion. Well, there's nothing to it apart from to attack the Netherlands. Who appear to, at the moment, we actually wanted to war them. They spawned in units everywhere. We got all of our aluminium from them. How much are we getting? We're importing 11 from the Netherlands and we've only got 8 spare. So we're going to go a little negative unless we sell our hydro plants. Because we don't really need them anymore. I didn't build one here, did I? I did not. If we sell these hydro plants, like that, we're up to 10, and then we can just get rid of maybe one of these stealths if we decide we need to, which we will. We don't need a combat penalty and to be at war with these dudes at all. Yeah, we got six of our own and seven from England makes 13. So we can't afford to have all of these. Let's delete one stealth. And then we can declare war on the Netherlands. I need to... And get rid of some of these units. So that we can actually drop our XCOMs in. That cavalry actually survived because of how 
weak our stealth bombers currently are with that combat penalty. Trouble is, there's nowhere we can get happiness from, so we'll just end this game quickly before we lose all our stuff. The barbarian invasion. Okay, well, we'll wait here with these now. We'll save these pillages for next turn so that we can pillage and then attack. We've got a couple of XCOM spare as well. I mean, they're going to be needed for handling barbs, probably. Yeah, we, I mean, the, these units are just going to die by going after Amsterdam, and there's nothing that we can get rid of either. Not without actually just giving away one of our own cities for happiness. And Booker says, I know I've missed loads of late. Once everything gets back to normal, hoping to be about more often. Nice. Well, like, no worries. You can, it's up to you when you drop in and drop out. How do we get peace with any of these city-states? I guess we don't. Oh, we can't buy any. Oh, we can't buy any luxuries. This combat penalty is going to be a real pain. We're going to have to do a 6 XCOM slam on the city before we can afford to go in and start attacking. Because this is just too much damage for us to take. Can we, we should queue some XCOMs up behind the existing XCOMs, though, where we can. Like in just a couple of places might be handy. Anywhere where it's going to be easy to run in. This stone looks like it's going to be an easy place to run in. We've got a spare XCOM and Gao as well, which is good. Okay, well, we'll wait till next turn. Anyway, Nisif says, I remember having an encounter barbarian mechanized infantry. Wow. They pillaged absolutely everything. It was an AI that was a little unhappy, but the barbs spilled over to your lands. Damn. Booker says, take a sip of your beverage. Booker Tini, thanks for keeping me hydrated. This is my last sip of water. Okay. We actually got attacked in the one... N bombers in here. But we've done quite a lot of damage on the city. I don't want to take this promotion. Because I'm pretty sure what we want to do is bomb Amsterdam and then take the instant heal next turn. But yeah, the amount of damage we're doing is pretty rubbish. But yeah, wow. Barbarian mechanized infantry spilling over into your land is like the most annoying thing ever I can imagine. But yeah, we should be able to instant heal next turn on that stealth bomber now. And that's going to make sure it's got maximal happiness. And we're actually going to be able to cap Amsterdam next turn, it looks like. Because we've just we can just exert so much damage, despite the fact we've got a minus 40% combat penalty. We do have the autocracy bonus in fairness. And here is the barbarian tanks and a barbarian archer. Just kill the archer. And we'll slam the tanks. Try and zock them in here. Stealth that, and then if we just grab one more XCOM from somewhere, this one that's standing in Gao, we can zock this tank and make sure they can't go anywhere annoying. Giant death robots, I guess. Cathman dudes at war with us. General here, we can kill that. Because let's hope your holiday was good. Guessing it was internal to the UK. Yeah, it was. So me and um is there anywhere that I can drop an XCOM in? Because we don't appear to be threatened by the Songhai here <laughs> at all. Probably right there and right there. Yeah, so me and my girlfriend and my parents, we went to a place called Great Yarmouth in the United Kingdom. It's in the east of England. It's a very, very traditional seaside town. It's quite good, actually. So that's where we've been. And then it was my girlfriend's birthday on Friday. So we went to a theme park in the UK. Now we can get these pillages off that we were saving. It's perfect. Another stealth bomber with an upgrade. This one can actually hold on to it. We'll just shoot Amsterdam. These are these have actually healed enough that we don't really care about taking these instant heals. But we can hold them and let them spill over by just simply attacking. Which then means that you're not allowed to use your promotion. So next turn the promotion will be available to us again. And we'll just... Bring this down as low as we can with the stealth bombers. Perhaps we'll get it all the way to naught. But the amount of damage we're doing is really quite small. Because of the combat strength penalties for being 23 unhappy. Hey, we did it. Can we get rid of these barbarian tanks before... Oh, really? 
yes, we can get rid of this barbarian tank. So that no barbarians exist in our land. No one knew what happened with these barbarians whatsoever. But yeah, we went to a theme park in the UK that was really cool. This should be the end of the game. I think we're taking the last capital. We own all the original ones, except for the Netherlands capital. So as a recap of how this game went, we spawned here at Shoshone. We decided to go two city chariots into Denmark. We captured Aarhus. And then Copenhagen, unfortunately, went up to too high a combat strength before we were able to go and kill it because the terrain was just really bad. We might have tried, but we could probably have failed. So we turned around. We burned Denmark City down here. That's why there's some city ruins. And we went three cities into about a turn 64 National College before settling Agaidica as our fourth city as a canal. And then we came back later at crossbows, trebuchets, and galleasses to capture Copenhagen and finish Denmark off. After that... We embarked on a fairly peaceful five city sim. I was hoping to do some war, but it just didn't really work out that way with everything that we needed to build. Because right around the point where we felt like we might have been ready to produce units, we suddenly got to factories and public schools. So we chilled our way up to research labs, at which point England and the Maya decided to declare war on Tima straight away. Fortunately, we just got oil online and because we went autocracy commerce purchasing strategies, we bought a stack of bombers, we bought a couple of submarines, fended all of that off without taking any damage, and then pushed on into London, into Palenque, into Gao, and finally insta into Amsterdam to take the win. We did own Coventry at one point. We captured that with great war bombers, well, regular bombers, I guess, and artillery before selling it to the Songhai because we needed the happiness. But this was a fairly straightforward stealth and XCOM victory after taking... Copenhagen with trebuchets, crossbowmen, and galleas, and taking London and Coventry with regular bombers and fight and um, and XCOM squads. I think is the way we did it in the end. So we'll take this and end the game. There we go. Look at the demographics. We're one in quite a few. Our production really wasn't very good at all. That perhaps part of why this game was so slow to finish. I guess our production wasn't as great as I thought it was. The world will Caesar rank in victory. You always get that with a domination. And we can go just back to the map to see how this thing all panned out. So there's Aarhus. We found that right on our borders. That solidified the fact that we should go chariots if we weren't already planning to, even though we were. So we founded our two cities, went two city chariots, captured Aarhus about turn 45, tried to go for the capital, but then turned around and raised the other city, National College about now, followed by then settling this canal city. And a chill four city sim for a bit while we built up our way to trebuchets and crossbowmen before we then came around and took this danish capital of copenhagen about turn 110 and then chill simmed our way we sadly didn't get too many buildings in copenhagen but we did get all the ones that mattered then it took us till about turn 160 almost to get our labs down that's just because we spent some time dithering a bit took a few detours before entering the renaissance era etc etc but then we took coventry london sold it took palenque took gal and then took the Amsterdam, took the capital of the Netherlands to win the game. On turn 194. So relatively slow, but still still one on turn 194, I guess. But I was hoping to do a little bit sooner. Just some production problems, I guess. But there we have it. Not really much else to see. Our score was perfectly fine. It ballooned. Probably the only interesting thing to look at is science per turn. Our science was actually decent in the end, but not ridiculously good. Powered by a couple of observatory cities and a really, really good amount of pop. We can see here where we've got schools and then where we've got labs. And I guess where we petered our way through to universities in here. And then the National College, I think, which is probably down here. So that brings us to the end of this game. Thank you very much for watching. Anybody who's looking back on YouTube, do remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see any more content, then do subscribe. And if you have any comments about this game, then feel free to leave a comment as well.